Folks, what is up and welcome back to Lil Guardsmen. Uh, we're your night guards, Zach, Jason, and Pridge. Hey! Halt, who goes there? Halt, halt who goes there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Emissary of the Gorgonites. <laughs> Uh, hey, if you didn't know already, it'd be wild if you're watching the second without watching the first. But the first episode was really good. Uh, again, we played this game before it came out. Uh, code was sent to us by the developers. We're really enjoying it. Uh, so we're excited to hop back into this. Uh, if you wanted to, you can watch us live on twitch.tv slash save data team. Uh, we're probably going to be moving this to Monday nights for the next couple weeks uh, until we finish it, which should only take two weeks. Uh, but hey, if you wanted to support us, we'd really appreciate that. Head over to patreon.com slash save data team where you can get a bunch of cool things, including uh, the access to the VOD channel where every one of our streams are fully uh, kept up for posterity's sake. Uh, you don't see all the bits we cut. And uh, getting your name included as an NPC in our D&D campaign saving throw. New episode tomorrow. And at the $10 level and above, you get your name included in this Patreon song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bun, Mr. Cola Bun, Eddie Cosmo, Dave Hall, Lucha, and Sofino. HSM, Earn Less, Crow Knight, Danny, Antelester, Kevin, Asian, Shadow, Navi. Witch Tower, Sky, Herlock, Hyde, Safaria, Arky, Forensic, Beckmick, OJ, FJ, Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, Jacob Bell, Crimson, Chrissy, Shepper, Steam, Riger, Rilla, Jolie, Soul Mistress, BBC, What and Sherlock, Mr. Mercosil, Art, Ami, Borshock, Amelia, Super, Cool, Panic, Pan, Fluff, Guff, Shrim, Ari, Diego, Garcia, Charlie, and Boomer, Emily. Mega Zero, Big Kerbo, who needs to sleep, Alea, Yakta, Est, Ever, Entropy, Daedric, and Serafina, Maho, Stars, The Driver, 458, Tasty Morabar, Jeff Warner, Gazbrick, Rescue Me, Nagashi, Mickey, AC, The Jester, Aruka, Nayaki, Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Slime, Rick Rats, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Conjuring, Scribe, Zeal, Croissant, Fulfilla, Written Word, Shave the Punisher, Sevilla, Thank him, thank him, gotta thank him all, gotta thank him all, our Patreon. Dur during the Patreon song, Pridge revealed to us that he bought the game and has played a little bit farther ahead than we are, so we were, we were yelling <laughs> Just a for it. Just a little, <laughs> is what we were told. Uh, okay, good, it's there. Uh, but yeah, uh, he, he has not completed it. He's only played uh, four or five days, so we'll, we'll probably surpass him tonight. But, uh, but let's get back into the game. I, I like... So, I somewhat like this one too. This game sometimes a little bit more in Papers Please because Papers Please you felt like you were on a time crunch. This one I feel like that's true. It's this... more like a, a puzzly as opposed mm -hmm. to like For quick like high and then sports, the, it was like wording and all, all that fun the stuff. The, the stuff that you pick out the seems sprawl. more now here's uh, Gavin visual. Ball with your hosts, and oh yeah, we 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 did listen oh, to this. Rhonda, what about we did. Yeah, because it ended up us learning that the princess has been kidnapped, right? Yeah. Yes. Fled? I don't. I don't. I don't mean here. That. But I do. First, the big news: they finally decided on the new name for the Goblin Ball Stadium. Right. This was very fun. After months well. of in-person and in-creature <laughs> polling, the most popular name as oh, voted by the sprawl right. appears to be the exciting ditch with chairs for overpriced. <laughs> it's <laughs> still so funny. I like it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate yeah. it. <laughs> We're split down the middle. Let us know what you think what by calling the station at 555 five, 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 could never do a, a We interrupt this good. broadcast to bring you an urgent announcement. It has just been reported that Princess Desdemona, the sole heir of late King Oswin and sovereign successor to the throne, has been reported missing early missing. this okay. morning. Okay. Okay. In the wake of okay. her mysterious disappearance. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whoa, someone's in a rush. Where are you headed to, my little rocket? Father of the year, too, I forgot. Sorry, yeah. sir, can't talk. Gotta go down to the guard shed to work for my... Wait a minute. Dad? <clears throat> what are you doing here? I thought you'd be running errands for Stryker or Malcolm or home. whoever. Do you have the day off? I wish. Since Princess Desdemona went missing, Councilwoman Ash is really cracking the whip. She's got me pulling double duty, doing her little odd jobs and tasks. She's acting like she runs the place. Then what are you doing here? I missed you. I guess Aww. I just wanted to come check in. Wholesome okay. dad moment. 
Don't worry. Nobody knows that. After he's busy gambling away our food. Oh, wait. <laughs> isn't he going to say, wait, is he going to ask us for the money? We, he asked us to gamble. That's, oh, I'm kind of worried it's about that. It's not about that. I mean, that's great and all, but are you holding Please, up okay? Please don't do that. Wholesome dad moment. Please, dad, don't betray my trust. Joke about hair loss. <laughs> do it. Yeah, fuck it. I'm not the one losing my hair. Damn, okay. Oh, that was wow. pretty rude. It was not a wholesome I, I, dad I, I moment thought, anymore. I thought, I thought, it was, I thought, it was, I thought yeah, she was going to be like, at least I'm not losing my hair. The thing to stress me out more. <laughs> dad, if you didn't end up working at the gate because your dad did and his dad did and his dad did, what would you have wanted to be? You know, nobody's ever asked me that before. Well, nobody since your mother. <laughs> what did you tell her you wanted to be? A father. Oh, Wholesome oh, dad wow. moment. Oh, saying all this because the princess is missing and you're feeling all sentimental. All right, all right, I'll stop. I'm just happy to see you're here. Not for long. I'm due down at the shed. And I'm off to take down any goblin-friendly signage and pro-non-human literature across the sprawl. <laughs> sure okay, why. now. But then again, mine is not to ask, just to do as I'm told. Now it kind of sounds like that's a bad thing. <laughs> We are so Little uh, so secret police there. Yeah. yeah. Shadow. So long. See you at the tavern if I get off in time. See you, Dad. Ah, oh, wholesome dad moments. Man, this guy just turned it around this episode. Look really? at that. Like, Starting like, off the stream we're like five and like minutes a... into playing the game, and then we're like, wow, wow. best dad ever. Attention. <laughs> okay. Guard. Well, now oh you can't God. even see us. It? Did I pull a real Randy and mess up so badly you had to come down here yourself and fire me? <laughs> oh, no. Soldier, not Randy. it's nothing like that. You did not pull a Randy. <laughs> Thank God. I'm here to personally approve the upgrade of the Wicked 3000. Oh. With the princess missing and between you and me, the council's increased paranoia, the jail lever has been reinstated. Oh, yes! Yo! Let's go! Yep, Put him in the... We can now send people right to jail. Hell yeah. All right, Zach, let's do this, dude. Another lever means more work for me. Does that mean I get a pay raise? Of course not. It's Monopoly time. Seriously, funny stuff. Uh, no, but now instead of determining who should enter or be denied from the sprawl, yeah. you also must correctly identify criminal threats and jail oh, them. Nice. Okay. Any questions? She might be the only striker people like. Yeah, let's get let's get the tutorial. How do I figure out who to deny and what who to jail? What other strikers do you know? <laughs> uh, Mortal Kombat striker. Uh, oh William yeah, striker. of course. W William Striker in the Marvel is the guy who Good put call. adamantium okay, to okay. the fucking Wolverine. Let's use a real life example. Someone you've seen already. Okay. Yes, I was literally about to say, let it be the bell. Yes. Yes. Of sleeping children. Oh my Wait, god. god. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Hopefully, hopefully, Hat Man is not on the list. Please save Dude, him. You can, you can never admit. Never arrest let him through. <laughs> Good work, soldier. Just denying her would not protect the surrounding villages. Okay. And what's okay. to stop her from going to the next gate and getting lucky with a guard like Randy? Don't word it <laughs> like that. <laughs> Fucking Randy. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Any further questions? He was two days away from his pension. So no, he, he was he was three payments away from paying off that catapult. Okay. Wait, mechanically. Right. Wait, what? What's the difference between so if 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 they're bringing like contraband in, that is not a jailable offense. Or, it like, it's, it's, it's if they're if they, it's if they're dangerous, right? I mean, it depends. Yeah, okay. I'm confused, but we'll see. Well, I've got you. Yeah. Tell me a bit more about yourself. <laughs> well, okay. I grew up a military brat. Uh, my father was a general for the princess's grandfather, okay. King Artemis. It... Wait, why am I telling you this? <laughs> you received your briefing. Now do your duty. <laughs> <laughs> What's your perfect Sunday? <laughs> God. Just when I thought we were bonding. <laughs> this game's good. But does she see why kids love cinema? Jason, so thank you for the sub. <laughs> yeah, I wish it hot or <laughs> Uh Due to the sudden and unexplained absence of the princess, visitors should be thoroughly vetted and harassed. I mean, okay. questioned. And don't okay. be afraid to use that delicious all new jail lever. The city's morale is hitting all time low today. Anyone from the entertainment sector should be bumped to the front of the line. Okay. Okay. 
We are instituting a severe cutback of non-human entrance to this brawl. Secondhand oh, intelligence God. suggests that a goblin was behind the princess's disappearance. Therefore, we are issuing a blanket okay. no goblins allowed policy this week. In fact, I'll pay 12 oh. gold for every goblin I see. 12 gold? By... Fuck. The problem is, I guarantee a lot of them are legal. We're going to have to fuck, fuck. somebody over it, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, chat. Please don't cancel us. Gonna get so canceled. <laughs> All right, what's it? Be on the lookout for would-be heroes and vigilantes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do we have to do? What do we have to do with them? Just, just. The High Council of the Sprawl has their own plan to ensure the princesses return. Oh, I guess we turn them away. Then? Wait, wait, turn them, turn them. It sounds like, based off that, you like, yeah, turn them away. Yeah. Uh, and the princess thing. People are going nuts. Have you heard about? I've heard about that crazy <sighs> no goblins Jesus. allowed policy. Let's dial that back to a more comfortable one goblin allowed. <laughs> Okay. At the very least, it'll bug Councilwoman Ash, Malcolm. Okay, okay. okay so one goblin? <laughs> I, do, I do love the idea that Malcolm so, says we can, so, let so, one, we can let one goblin in. Yeah. It's it's annoying because, like I said, uh, the only flaw is if we went through the entire day, we could pick which one we wanted. Like, we are we don't know who else is coming down the pipeline if we like one early. You know what I'm saying? If we're only yeah, going to let yeah, one yeah. in. Yeah, if we're only going to let one goblin in. God yeah. damn it. Okay. Not too complicated, though. Yeah. Oh, right, the crystals thing. Yeah, we got oh. six crystals, though. Six, okay, like, perfect that's good. That's crystals. Good. Uh, definitely load this up, I think. Yeah, the truth tray was here. probably our favorite. Yeah, yeah I, I liked it and a lot. Then one of X -ray, X -ray is, oh, I like, I like X-Ray a lot, too. You like X-Ray yeah. more than Truth Serum? No. Uh, uh, no, probably not. Yeah. I wish, I wish we bought shitty crystals. So we could yeah. put one in the X-ray, but yeah, that would be good. Yeah, yeah. I agree. All right, let's start our shift. Also, oh, just here, when, when the person comes, what's our uh, what item? What's item? What's in our bag? Hello oh, there. Yeah, my name uh -oh. is Face. <laughs> I am a farmer from Firewall Canyon, a twin little town just on the other side of the scroll. I'm sorry. How do they? <sighs> what they? They straight up were like, we're gonna do a pixel art, uh, like, low. What the fuck? It's but it's Buttface. Also, yeah, his name is Buttface. Can we talk about that for two seconds? Now, here's the thing: is this guy actually a goblin, or is he a guy? I think undeniably, this is a goblin. <laughs> no, he's Buttface. You're right. Buttface, quaint little town on the other side of this brawl. I am coming into town today. To self-reduce, I have grown with my own two hands from land that was left for me by my great goblin uncle in his will. His dying wish was that I restore the family farm to its former glory. Oh, At God. least I think that is what it says. He did not have the best handwriting. Okay, this could be this could be a a, a code breaker. Did you Decoder, say your yeah. name was Budface? Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> it is certainly not what I would have chosen to fill a character. <laughs> I would have liked Spencer One or even Quincy Art. Wow. But you cannot choose your own name, am I right? This game's really good. <laughs> um, a, do you want to question him and then he might give the paper? Because yeah, we are supposed to let's, early let's talk to him, no see what. if he has the will. Yeah. We could decode it. Yeah, yeah. Gotta expand and sell my produce in new markets. The old farm has not been doing too well as of late. Oh, I am only four I people, by the my way. Priorities into other areas like foraging and fishing. I am quite horrible at growing oh, vegetables, no, not... but I am your Huge goblin. If level. you need someone to gather pine cones, is this supposed to be like a Stardew Valley it's a, joke? It's a giant Stardew Valley joke. Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. He is one hundred percent a giant Stardew Valley joke. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Oh. Man. He hasn't done anything technically wrong yet, I guess? I mean, it's pretty sus also. <laughs> I kind of feel like this is a doubt. <laughs> this 8-bit character yeah. ass. Alright, so Jalak, put him in jail already. We've seen what we voted yeah, okay, to see. Yeah. I'm in a doubt. Maybe you can honor your great goblin uncle by becoming a really good forager. I hope so, because I'm not sure I'm cut out for the farming life. Just look at this rice I grew. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I mean... I don't want to confiscate this. Man, they're really starting us off with a hard choice here, aren't they? What, what, to, what to do with butt face? <laughs> How do 
I solve a problem like butt face. Uh, I'm gonna give him the What a good uh, reference, no, by the way. I what? Assist. No one would buy it from me anyway. Oh my god. Damn. Free rice! <laughs> you got a bag of low-quality rice. Okay. Okay. Can I look at the rice? A sack of pixelated... Oh, price is zero dollars. We can't even resell this. Come on. What I lost me. Okay, we have the head with the we have the bat with the head, the, the cinnamon door. roll, Fosse, and then oh that was Sir Beverly's, wasn't it? Yeah, Sir Beverly's. Yeah, it was Beverly. okay. uh, That's right. Uh, uh, we have like no gold. Holy shit. Yeah, we we spent all of it. Should we call? Uh, should we call somebody? Oh, well no, that was that was an earlier day. I was gonna say surely Malcolm yeah. would love to talk to a person named Buttface, but. This is a wild one. I don't know if we should jail this guy. Or not jail, but like, is it? I don't want to jail the this the dungeon. Um, but it is 12 gold. Yeah. The only other thing I would suggest is a truth serum on him, but I don't want to. I don't know if I want to burn that on him. Yeah. We only have four people coming today, though. Oh, we only have four? Yeah, oh, there's only shit. four. Yeah, maybe we. You could be. So again, our crystals do carry over, so it's. Yeah. You can just, save is, them. is this a good day to burn them because you can, or is this a good day to save them because you? The can? only other thing, you know, Ash is gonna just tell you to jail them. Yeah. That's why I kind of so want to like, call Malcolm. You can call Malcolm then. Yeah. I mean, because he that. he was also the one that was like, yeah, you can let one goblin in. Yeah, yeah, he did. This might be the one gob goblin. He's not a visual ante either. I have a craving for mangoes. If you can get me some by the end of the day, I'll be his friend and I'll marry him. Oh shit, marriage proposal. <laughs> oh wow. Good gifts. Him. Oh shit! <laughs> settle down already. <laughs> I if you can interrogate him twice by this point, you're not gonna know what I'm talking about. Wh oh, what? What? Nice. Video we can game? Get him. We can get him. You're so yeah, but weird. <laughs> I fucking love, I fucking love Malcolm. Malcolm is incredible. Uh, I'm still marry him. Well, yeah. I feel like we should talk to him one more time. Yeah, interrogate him. Interrogate him. And then I this might be a rewind. I often fill my time talking and giving gifts this to the town folk and other strangers okay, I Okay, yeah, this is a Stardew like Valley joke. Like I did with Rice. This helps me gain favor and friendships with the eventual goal of falling in love and getting married. I have not been successful at it yet. I do not think anyone likes the gifts I have You think this them. guy likes Abigail? He probably does. Yeah, seems more of a... Seems more of a shame. Seems more of a shame kind of guy. Oh, oh God. God. Uh, I mean, I feel bad for him. I'm gonna... Just let him in. Let him, I, out of all of the goblins, this guy's not a visual ante? bags of rice. Would you prefer a pine cone? No. This guy is me playing Stardew. <laughs> Got him. He at least he doesn't give people garbage. Might as well, though. <sighs> you gave him, like, what? Uh, didn't you give Linus something? And he's like, <laughs> You just gave this to me because I'm homeless, didn't you? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I vote. I, I'm voting admit. Uh, he could be the. Listen, I'm willing to do that, and then we'll see what happens, you know? He's a weird okay. pixelated goblin named Buttface. Yeah, but. <laughs> face <laughs> let him do it we, we lost 12 gold because of that though we did lose 12 gold because of that listen i'm under strict rules not to let any goblins in today but he's i think real... you're harmless enough you may pass he's not a real goblin <laughs> thank you kindly i will be on my way now if i have he's to stop by this way again i will be sure to bring you some more crops from my farm Free of there charge. okay well no charge of money anyway it might cost you a day or two Everyone who eats my produce gets violently ill. God damn it, butt face! <laughs> no, he he said cool. that after. <laughs> it is so long. <laughs> good call. Good call. Yeah, we got it. Um, but you maybe you were following your heart. Should we rewind that? Let, let's see more people though, right? Okay. No? Yeah, no, we 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 can fuck around a little bit. He also doesn't have a fourth star, so I mean, it's either yeah, sure it's or not three, as important. So. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Magic lovers of the sprawl, please uh -oh. put your hands together for the one, the only, the Edward, the great magician, Alakazoo, uh -oh. Alakazee. Jail instantly. Jail. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank it's you. Shaped like a finger. <laughs>
Oh a no! Second. This doesn't look like a little kid's birthday party. No! Oh, there's one! Excuse me! Are you Becky Schneiderman? Wow. Is this your birthday party? Pretty close to my name. I'm sitting in a hot shed all alone. Which, you know, isn't actually as bad as some of the birthdays I've had. <laughs> Damn. Then I'm in the right spot. Can't believe I found my way here. Especially without my glasses. Oh. My glasses. The, the problem is, the problem is, what, what, what if you're if you were to use a tool on this guy? What what are you thinking? The whip. <laughs> um. <Jesus. laughs> uh, oh, he's, he's not a goblin. That's yeah. number one. Zach he's not a visual Zach Annie. Zach understands instantly. <laughs> yeah. Instantly whip this guy. Um. Do you want to interrogate him then whip him? Yeah, I feel like we got to get some information. <laughs> so Becky, the birthday girl. Sit back, relax, oh. and prepare to be amazed by me, the Edward the Great. His name sucks, too. Wait, but I'm not. Actually, I want to see where this is going. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's get before. For my first trick, please pick a number between one and seven. Oh. Five. It's not an option. Come on. <laughs> uh, I'm picking one. Feeling okay. strong about a one. No, What's he, the number he's... that you're thinking of? The number six? Yeah, fucking got his ass. Nope. What else do you do? He... I Damn, wonder if he got so it right, bad. if it would... Like... I mean, you can whip him if you want, There's but... No... I, I was joking about that. Um... I had oh, no idea. Any anyone from the entertainment sector should be bumped to the front of the line. That's what this is about. Does that mean admitted automatically yeah, or yeah. is that is that automatic in well it says also at the top thing though interrogate everybody thoroughly is my own way that's true that's true that's you are right man. but but maybe it, it says bump to the front of the line yeah. you know? i'm not becky schnauzen holder or, or whatever <laughs> my name is lil and this is a guard check and you haven't even made it into the city yet what oh rats Come on, the Edward, get it together. This is all because I couldn't see where I was trying to get to. Now I'm going to be super late for this kid's party. Uh, you're gonna have to let him through. Yeah, I mean, I, I trust him. You're building not. suspense. Well, if I build too much of it, I won't get my 40 gold and slice of birthday cake. Uh, can we get some 40 gold, gold? though? Yeah, I, got my... I mean, as a joke, I would love to scan him just because he's a magician, but uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to let him through. Yeah, yeah I think this is an admit. I'm worried that if he, if he would have gotten your card right, it would have been the uh, potential to get the uh, bonus thing here. Yeah, um, we'll see what it is, though. Ever since I pulled a bouquet of flowers from my parents' garden shop out of my sleeve, I knew I wanted to be a magician. And you're making this dream come true for me. <clears throat> now, I just need to figure out how to get there without being able to read the street signs. This guy Alakazoo, sucks. Alakazee, I'm going to be very late. I thought he was gonna disappear into a cloud of smoke. Ooh, yeah, that, was, that was real bad. I don't know. I don't know. I I want to rewind. What, I want. But I don't know what tool line. I would use. Like, what tool are you thinking though? Uh, ahead of, ahead let, of time. let's. I want to scan him. I want to scan him. Um, I just don't know what scanning is gonna get you, but you can try it if you want to. I mean, who knows what he's got in that hat? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the rabbit! Oh, is he head. does have glasses. He does have glasses. Yeah, but he's got the. He does have a rabbit in his hat. Yeah. So that's where Mr. Fluffy Bunny went. Guess I won't be getting the deposit back after all. Oh my God! It's oh my dead. Oh my God! It's dead, dude. Oh my God! <laughs> Mention his glasses. There's a pair of glasses in your boot. My boot. This guy's got Fire Emblem Awakening feet. You helped me find them. Yeah, he does. Thank you, thank you, thank you, little girl. All right, now we admit him, and that's got to be the Tell you yes. what, on your next birthday, I'll perform for free. That's... I wonder if the metal detective would have found it. it, too, but probably not. It, it might have. Although, I, I yeah. went through, let him through. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I'll tell you, whipping him knocks his glasses out of his pants. Oh my no way! <laughs> I whipped him <laughs> ever since I pulled a bouquet of flowers from it? my parents' garden Damn shop. It. My... <laughs> now that I have my glasses, they would have saved the, the detector too. Damn. The party, no problem. Damn, Prids, you get it.
Alakazoo, <laughs> Alakazee, my magic career is saved. It didn't rhyme. He actually looks better with glasses. He does. Look at that. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah. yeah Four the stars, has, baby. The, the kid has some way she performed finding his glasses. Incredible. That there are, that I have now nice, learned nice, there nice are multiple work, ways way, to find. That's so funny. Oh, okay, God, this, this is three, three goblins, goblins in a trench coat. coat. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't scan them. Can you whip them, though? Almost certainly. Yeah. Hi. Hello. We would like to enter. I, I, I would like to enter the sprawl, please. They're so we bad at are... this. Magnus the Magnificent. Magnus. Renowned member of the Magies Guild. Surely you have heard of me. Uh. I think with true serum probably do it too, but I'm just trying to think of like efficient ways to do it. But I guess the whip technically might work. Mm. He's definitely lying. Yo, oh, just... oh, Jason, yes. <laughs> um, I'm just saying. I, I don't think like, you actually said we. Is it really just no? But I'm, I'm saying. Show? I'm saying. I don't. I don't know if that would trigger his the fucking. Yeah. Would be like, I like, think. I, I think true spray would would do it for sure. I think whip is maybe. Uh, if only we had the scanner. I know. If only we had two crystals yeah. in the scanner. Um. All right. Let's. I'm just worried. It's a, it's your best call because you have two crystals in it. But I'm 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 worried that uh. Oh, two people in the chat are saying whip is. Hey, just here. fucking whip his ass. Actually, <laughs> well, I feel bad because he's not an actual magician. They aren't an actual magician. Ow! Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> yeah. Okay, I was about to be like, holy shit, he just fucking... What's the matter oh. with you? Oh, heck, our cover is blown. Quick, let's cheese it. Please don't do this. We just wanted to see some friends. You're blowing this way out of proportion. Yeah. Forget it, Gary. We're just a couple goblins in a human world. Oh, now oh, I feel no, terrible. No, but no, this is technically man. 24 gold, so... That's a lot of gold, dude. <laughs> So how, how terrible do you sorry. feel, Zach? Oh, hey. hey, Zach, you know what you could cover your eyes with? Those two gold coins you're going to be fucking... Oh, no! Oh! Oh, oh that's... But I guess whipping them got the job done? You are one no. sick puppy. Zach, the red is you get 12 gold for sending them to jail. Yeah, there's two of them, so I would have got 24. Yeah, oh, you, okay, you intentionally didn't send them to jail. No, 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 I didn't have the choice. As soon as I whipped them, yeah. they... <sighs> really? Yeah, yeah, they were like, you we gotta you, leave. You, you probably have to the rewind, jig is up. Wow. <laughs> okay, but I don't know how this... Are you gonna jail him now? Because you know... I, I wonder how it's presented to yeah. you. Yeah. No way, is it straight up going to be like, well, it's already, you done it. You guys, yeah. we're goblins through and through. We're meeting up with a couple other gobos to talk well, about it's a what's different going dialogue. on in this city for folks like us. Now I feel even worse. What does that mean? The princess goes missing, and all of a sudden there's a no goblin order in the sprawl? What's that about? Maybe a goblin kidnapped the princess? I'd like to see the proof of that. Okay, so now we have that? the oh, man. <laughs> We did hey, technically hey. let one goblin in so far. Hey, yeah, but we already did that. So Hey, chat, chat just let chat, me know. Chat look I, away. I, look, chat look hand, away. Hey, 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 no, hand chat check, look hand away. check. I'm not I'm not pulling the thing. Chat look that. away. H hand check, hand check. Chat look away. <laughs> chat. Hey, look into my pockets when there's gold there, by the way. <laughs> Keep looking away! <laughs> and we can't, so boys! I'm not gonna get punished for letting two rebel goblins in on no goblin day. It's straight to jail for you. Okay, oh, I, wish, I wish Lil didn't say it like that. <laughs> oh no, please don't do this. We just wanted to see some friends. You're blowing this yeah. way out of proportion. Forget it, Gary. We're just a couple goblins in a Wait, maybe world. they got sent to jail the last we're time. Sorry, we're sorry! I don't think I don't so. Know. Oh, this is the same bug. dialogue. Oh, okay, we got the gold. You got your blood money, yeah, let's go! Yeah, but here's the blood thing. Money. <laughs> yeah, well, shit, we got the four stars, so... Oh, okay.
Hell Man. yeah, I'm get gonna, your, I'm get gonna, your blood, buddy. I'm gonna hate reading the uh, the thing about how, what the fuck. Salutations to you, little sister of this big, Magnus. beautiful world. My journeys across this land have brought me this here. This guy is high as shit. It's the weed wizard. Are you fucking? It's high. Uh, Hi ho, silver. Fucking Gandalf. What a sweet fortune. I mean, I think that's just normal Gandalf, today, dude. <laughs> that I do not know. But it's a hell of a ride, let me tell you. Uh, this guy didn't even tell us what his name was yet, right? Also, we don't know if he's like an entertainer or an actual like vigilante. Like, what's yeah. he do? Journeyed here from. You really want to know? I mean, yeah, tell me. Oh, I've been around for a spell. Always on the move. From the mountains north of Petrad, the Great Desert in the south of Marvog, along the crystal shores of Lake Inez, past the dread Castle Kaladar, and the quaint farmlands of Fireball Canyon. I've wandered through all of these many, many times, but for my money, there's no place like the sprawl. People everywhere you look leading their busy lives. Every once in a while, stop to take in how beautiful it all is. You can't buy that, little sister. Okay. We know nothing about this man. I'm gonna tease him. Oh yeah, this tiny little shed is so beautiful. I must remember to take a mental picture so I can conjure it whenever I feel like I'm having too much whoa, whoa, fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lil, is, Lil is a retail worker in fucking the holiday season. Could be a lot worse, little dudette. Not as if someone peed on your rug. <laughs> what? That would, that is would that be a miserable. common expression? <laughs> yeah. It is where I come from. <laughs> the problem is, oh, what? okay. What if he gets high off the truth powder? I, hey, it's stupid, but yeah. What if he's like into it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is our last person. We've only used. Oh, we have used two. But that, I mean, if we use one more, that's. That's we we've hit our you're quota. Still, you're, yeah, you still have three. Mm -hmm. You still have three to carry over. I mean, plus the, uh, plus the ones you get on. Promise. Yeah, we can't see if he has weed on him because uh, the metal detector probably would. Uh, no. Well, also, is weed illegal in the sprawl? Is, is weed even illegal here? I don't think so. This, fucking... this place is this place is cool. But I'm already pro. Let this guy in. I just want to see if the truth here does it. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Minus the obvious goblin rate. Goblin racism. He's into it. Oh, that's a particularly potent blend. Yes, there. he's into it. A little sweet with just enough bitter finish to keep you coming back. Well done, more. Jason. Because I did the exact, I had the exact wow, same thought. So yes. I'm like, I bet you, Trucia will not work on this, dude. Uh. Secrets way down the soul, little sister. I have no secrets. My life is an open book. Well, can you tell me something interesting anyway? I mean, I did spend an action point on the damn truth spray. <laughs> Nice, nice. Sure thing, kid. Let me tell you some history. No. After King Oswin died, it didn't take long for would-be successors to start lining up. Three in particular. A young, headstrong counselor, a battle-hardened lieutenant in the Guard Corps, and the court jester. Although I don't know if anyone took him seriously or not. Oh, people These take These three have been battling seriously. for control of the sprawl for years now. But what about the princess? She's next in line. True, but at the time she was just a kid. Oh. Now she's grown, but I fear that these outside forces are using her as a pawn. Oh shit! Oh, Do we that's... think the big three were involved in her disappearance? They... That, that sounds that sounds good. That's why they're trying to clean everybody up. Oh shit! No we got conspiracy the in. I mean. He's, I don't think this guy's done anything that we can. But I, the only problem is I don't. I don't know if this guy even has a four star. I think we've done everything we can on him. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm I would say let him in. I just if you want to interrogate him a third time. Yeah, let's let's. Well, because we should be able to rewind. I mean. I, I, I think he's only gonna have three stars. I'm I don't think he's gonna have window, four. Sister, and you are a gentle breeze guiding me along my way. And there it is. I've reached my limit with you. <laughs> right you are. Hasta la vista, baby. Wow. I love this dude so much. Ah. I wonder if one more interrogate might have did it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know.
Oh. Lil, you've got to close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't remember his name, but I'm not going to ask him who he is again. <laughs> By now, you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? Yeah. Good. Any other week, the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town, we have to get her back before things around here get any worse. We gotta get her. We gotta make the marriage happen. A good place. Nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said, "Why the hell would they need that piece of?" You know, that's not important now. <laughs> God damn it, Hollage. <laughs> Do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. Okay. God damn it, Twitch chat. <laughs> we really are getting canceled for this. <laughs> During Black History Month. Shit, that's good. Oh. Yeah. I mean, did you want to jail the first guy or no? No, no, no. I'm, I'm fine with that. Fine with that choice. He's gonna give you some fucking shit. He's gonna, the, he's gonna come back and give us a pixelated potato. Pickaxe. Oh, okay. This is where this Hello? happens. Yes. Is anyone yeah. there? Uh, can somebody tell me why? I've oh, been that summoned? makes sense because it's to rescue the princess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guardian of the Southern Gate. Step I'm over forward. Now. Into yeah, this the is the other part we played from the demo. Mm -hmm. Yep. Still really damn funny, though. So funny. Let's see if we can not fuck up. Uh, who did we pick the last time? The archer? I think it was the archer. What and is I did, this? That's, we lost. You? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is Because the berserker killed, like, here? everybody. Yeah. Well, you have been chosen. To play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. That's right. It's time for... So we didn't pick the prince. You can save the guy in the middle. The princess. <laughs> uh, no, I can't remember, but I don't think I don't think the what rogue the was What the hell is going on? Uh, that's right, Lil. Today you're getting the chance to send one of these lucky adventurers on the I escapade of a lifetime to search for and, it was and the guy rescue your the beloved left. Princess Desdemona. Mm. I didn't ask to do this. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. Adventure number one is a hard-headed, go-getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Please welcome. Oh, Neil it's so nice War now that we now Killer. have a little bit more backstory on yeah. that. Too. Yeah, we know these. We now know what these yeah. places are. Yep, yep. Neil That's War the posh dude in the middle. Game. Yeah. Neil Walker is an incredible name. Number two is a nomad by nature, mage by profession, who likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. <laughs> Still it's good. Flame hand. Articulous flame hands. I forgot. I thought we might have picked that guy. Yeah, that's what I think. I think we ended up. Finally, adventurer number three. Also, he's so goddamn from their Alistair. He is Alistair. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's so he's so, so fucking good. Alistair. Let's hear it for Perry Shoutsen. Yes. Oh, right, they're sponsored by each I of them too. I still don't fully understand what's happening. And no heroic voyager would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the darkness. So let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Striker, Councilwoman Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus and the day will be ours. Information is power. Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite. Now, Lil. <laughs> Love Malcolm so yeah, much. He's incredible. A series of questions <laughs> to determine their suitability for this quest. At the end of the third round, you choose the winner of the grand prize, being sent on a perilous mission to save the princess, a few guaranteed brushes with death, and a coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's awesome. home of the soup. Home they got the, the soup. soup. <laughs> Monty's, we Ooh. got the soup. We've got the Dad soup. Dad does love Monty's. Let's yeah. do this. Honestly, I kind of want to go now that we're going like that, the One Kingdom on the, the guy from the left. I might want to go with that guy. Just to, yeah. All right, Lil, we talk the relationship like a little bit more if he succeeds. Intrepid would be heroes. Uh. Because we asked favorite ice cream. I, I know thought. we asked that at one point. I'm certain we did, yes. Um, 
Fuck it. If you were an ice cream flavor, what flavor would you be? And why? And who would you like to ask? Fuck. Neil. This guy's Rocky Road. And sweat and tears. A swirly ice cream cone made up of these three true flavors. Very refreshing after voices. a hard day's battle. Yeah, that's incredible. That's gravel incarnate. You can ask another adventurer if you like. Uh, good Perry. No contest. Mint chocolate. Period. I mean, it's a good ice cream flavor. It is a pretty good ice cream flavor. <laughs> You're not playing the game correctly. You got to be like cheesy with it, man. He didn't really give a reason why, but and your second yeah. question is. But he was confident, and I like yeah. that. Uh. I mean, we've been we. That was like the joke answer. You could do the joke one again. Yeah, let's do oh, yeah. Oh, something actually serious. Waylaid by you bandits. You are waylaid by bandits. What do you do? And who's that one for? Let's start with Articulus. Yeah, I got, I got to listen to bandits everyone. Bandits are no issue. I could conjure an army of sparrows or moles or whatever small creature best suited my purpose. Wouldn't it be better to conjure larger animals? Maybe something more ferocious. More ferocious than a mole? <laughs> Actually, I'm not licensed to conjure anything bigger than a bread box, but, but they really are scary. <laughs> you can ask another adventurer if you like. I mean, I kind of want to hear what Neil would say to this question. You should just kill him, yeah. Yeah, but I want to hear how he would kill them. Oh, okay. How many bandits? 11? 12? <laughs> Simple. I rip out the throat of the first, so the coward cannot warn their coward friends. Before the rest know what has hit them, I have. I pile the bodies <laughs> of the dead fools high in the air and there you go. warning to all others who would dare get in my way. It's a great. You satisfied with that later? Before they know what would hit them, I have. I'm gonna use that later. What's a guy gotta do to get picked for a question around here? I got some exciting answers. You fucking Bro, said you, mint chocolate already, chip. Like, yeah, nice, well, nice, to exciting format, answer, folks. man. There's a rich tradition we're preserving here. Please wait your turn. Hmm. A warrior does not wait okay. his or her turn. Oh. He or she acts. All right, Neil, calm down now. Hmm. Oh, righty. Hmm. You are gaslighting me and the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Mike Melroy. <sighs> Uh-oh, looks like the warrior has entered the heightened state of berserker mode. <laughs> <laughs> Which contestant do you think it only took one will be bonus able to action. get us out of this dilly of a pickle? Oh, who did we choose? I forget. I think we Which... chose Perry, and Perry threw a smoke bomb and disappeared, and then we got killed. All right, then choose Articulus. <laughs> Neil, uh, keep it together for just a few more seconds. You, what's your favorite animal? Uh, a squirrel, summon a squirrel. Because that's what he can do. Yeah. You look at this little fella. Whoa! <sighs> I, I, I feel the blood rage calming. I can't murder everyone present in front of something so small and perfect. <laughs> I am calm. Whew. I'm glad you didn't pick anything larger than a bread box. I'm not licensed for that. See, if we if we didn't get that last question, we wouldn't have known. Okay. No, a little tight for time. I can't, I can't time. confirm the sparrow order. also Are works. Ready okay, okay, to choose. Because yeah. sparrow is also smaller than a bread box. Mm. Uh, let's pick one more round. One more round. Let's go. Gotta go, gotta one, go more one more round. Round, round three. Lil. What's your final question going to be? Hmm. Uh, I think in our early play, I think we did favorite childhood memory. So let's do... Bridge, did you pick one of these? Uh, I did favorite childhood memory. Okay. Um, I, did not, I did not do plans after rescue or prophetic dream. It's a prophetic dream. You're having a dream, and you witness your own death. How Jesus does that impact your morning routine? <laughs> Jesus Christ! And you're asking? 
Uh, like, we got to get paid. Yeah, yeah, do you have good answers or no? Complain. What's I'm just a coffee and croissant kind of guy? Nothing fancy, you know. But a dream like that, that's when I'll really splurge on breakfast. Pancakes, eggs, bacon, sausage, toast, French toast, the kitchen sink. Then I'll just take that. the rest of the day off. Need to have a sharp mind. Can't let a thing like dream death throw you off your game. Guys, okay, I like that answer. You can ask another adventurer if you like. If you like. I mean, honestly, I equally want to know what either one of them would say. <laughs> uh, 50 50. It. What, do you, what do you feel, Jason? I. Oh, well, who have we only asked? Each of How these many... have gotten two questions. Yeah. Each. Really? Mm hmm. I don't know. Um, maybe not Articulus. I know we have Neil, too. I thought we gave Articulus, too, but let's pick the Articulus. The answer. Then. Yeah, that's Articulus. Dreams are gateway into other realities. Death in a dream is your subconscious showing you how another version of yourself in a parallel universe has expired. Any of a series of choices splinters our universe into fragments. So I mourn my fellow me's, and I am heartbroken that another version of myself has perished. It is a dark omen and should be heeded accordingly. Little, little. All, right. All right, articulated. I, I, I don't know Mel. if that was a, a funny answer, but it was a good answer. But he took, he took the question seriously. I gotta give him that. Yeah. Uh oh, you know what that means. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> This is so stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that sound means it's time for the lightning round. Okay. Okay. Lil, please choose the adventure that you'd like to see play the lightning round. Look, I, I, my vote is... The only, the only reason I would ever pick War Killer is, like I said, we're on that. If, if we want to, that's get a good that. point. That's a good point. That's my thought, but yeah. I mean, but that's a, that's the only reason. I, I don't think he's like as interesting as the other guys. But. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Um, let's hear what Neil. All has right, to say. Neil, are you ready oh, for shit. the lightning round? I am. No! I think we I think we ruined that relationship. Uh, <laughs> I think they we just uh, fucking got us. I think we just fucking oh fucked that relationship. That by the way. Real, right? Oh my god! Uh oh, you know what that sound means. I don't! Oh god, not again. My conscience can't take much more. The barbarian more. wife is done. That path is over. <laughs> no, I mean, listen. That sound means we are out of time. <laughs> All right, Lil, now's your moment of truth. Who do you All about want the to choose round, to baby. rescue Princess Desdemona? <laughs> we can still pick, pick the one. Pick him anyway, pick him anyway. <laughs> I, I mean, if I knew that we could rewind to individual questions in this, I would. Um... No, I think it'll. I do remember that we picked the mage. Yeah. And I do failed. remember what happened afterwards. Because it was like he failed because he summoned a shit ton of squirrels to help him. And yeah. they all died. And he felt we responsible the for the death of all the squirrels. We can pick the people in the back, too. Something where, like, I would pick Malcolm to go, but I don't want to not be able to call Malcolm because he's the funniest character in this damn game. They, just, pick... give you, they just give you advice. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. My hero you click... would have been the right choice if he wasn't a pile of ash. Yeah. There will be consequences for this. Harsh consequences. Striker, come on! I didn't know! My mage can heal a wound with a word, or smash through a rock wall with a wave of his wrist. Don't overthink it, Lil. I'm Be picking the ashes, choice. dude. The thieving arts it's might a not be as sexy as a halberd or a fistful of magic missiles, but we have no idea what's befallen the princess. And my guy is your guy. A good answer. <clears throat> but what if we pick? Oh, we can't even pick the warrior now. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> well, fuck it. Let's. let's... You know that part where he's a pile of ash. Let's pick the rogue, cause yeah. 
one, we picked the mage in the, the earlier yeah. one, and also this is Malcolm's representative, and I like Malcolm because he's a fucking agent of chaos. <laughs> he's just, just such a bro. Are you sure? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, humans and otherwise, the winner of So You Think You Can Save a Princess and proud owner of an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's Home of the Soup is... Perry Shoutson, the Thief. Hey, hey, everything's coming at Millhouse. <laughs> and that's all for us here. Wow. Please help control the map. Just straight up said it. Gargoyle, spade, or neutered. So long, everybody. That's a really uh, funny a fucking uh, Bob Barker reference. Bob, Bob yeah, Barker. Bob yeah. Barker. God well, damn like I said, I'm pretty sure uh, that might bone the, uh... Yeah, I don't know. And then, I had to choose who the heck was gonna rescue Princess Desdemona. It was the craziest thing. And don't even get me started on the lightning round. I, whoever did the voice acting for... I mean, every every voice acting in this game has been fucking incredible. But whoever's doing the voice acting for Lil is, is really <laughs> winning me over. You have the most vivid imagination, Lil. Why doesn't anybody believe me about these things? Hey, wait, how'd he get in town? Oh nice hat, shit, new hat! Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him, yeah. It is not as fantastic uh, as my previous hat. It's not as fantastic my as the journey, previous two hats you've worn. It continues. Still the best character so far. Yeah. Dude just wants a fucking Salutations hat. to you, little sister of this big, beautiful world. My journeys across this land have brought me here. I know, we met. At the gate? Whoa, I completely forgot. Gotta go easy on the peace blossom. Anywho, what did you want to talk about? Oh. Oh. oh wow. War. Um, he kind of told us a little bit about King Osmond already. I would say go in on one of the people. I would say Ash or Malcolm is who I'm interested in. Yeah. Well, we did offend Striker today, so maybe we should know what's coming for us. We also might be able to pick all of these. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I wonder about Malcolm, because we helped out Malcolm. What do you know about Malcolm? I have no idea what Malcolm's end goal is, and honestly, I don't think he knows either. I think if he had his way, there'd be no rules, no laws, no little guardsmen at the gate. Just let the whole place run itself. This dog-eat-dog -dog mentality would work for some, and for others, things could get a whole lot worse. He doesn't care about people. Doesn't care if they're good or bad. Our greatest strength is how we work together. Damn. Under Malcolm, we would never reach anything near our collective potential. Anything else you want to know about? Okay, good. What do you know about Lieutenant Stryker? Stryker has always lived in a world of black and white. There's good and evil and nothing in between. Take care, Scrap, Scat, Rat Man. If you're good in Stryker's eyes, you get nothing. Left to fend for yourself, but free. But if you're bad, the hammer of the law is swift and brutal. Small offenses come attached to massive mandatory minimum punishments. You've heard of three strikes and you're out? As far as Stryker's concerned, it's two strikes. The strike you make and the strike she makes. Oh no. Anything okay. else you want to know about? Okay. What do you know about Councilwoman Ash? Back when I knew Ash, she was already bitter, jaded, and afraid of anything she didn't understand. Okay, so she's a conservative. A true <laughs> protectionist, looking to keep everyone in their own little box. If she had her way, nothing would ever change or grow, and eventually we would all look, dress, and think exactly the same way. Oh, so it sounds like they're all bad, about? huh? <laughs> Yes. What do you know about King Oswin? After King Oswin died, it didn't take long for would-be successors to stop. Oh, is this just the line we got before? This is, yeah, oh, okay. this is war kind of repeats what, what you've already princess? heard. Okay. Anything? In okay. Okay. I mean, backstory on the people. So yeah, for sure. It, it, get it, letting him in and talking to him is really cool Can't because talk. he does give you that backstory. On that mm -hmm. hunk of hunk of fine piece of wizard over there. Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa, that underrated ship. I did not uh, expect yeah, that one. what the hell? Also, wait, how'd you get into the city? <laughs> yeah. Into the... Hey, it must have gone to Randy. Yeah. Fucking Randy. <sighs> Size. Lab. If he actually says that, I'd... 
<laughs> ah, is everything okay, Beverly? No, Lil, no, everything is not okay, Beverly. <laughs> My dear true love, Princess Desdemona. All right, oh, I forgot about Just this. Just to recap, this is the dear true love that you've never met, but one time you both happened to be at the Goblin Ball Stadium. Oh, you no. phrased that so beautifully. Yes, that same this she. Guy, this is the guy who messages models her, on Twitter. <laughs> He's she responded to me. Vanished. He's absolutely thirsty on, on so you me. You liked my tweet. Princess. She left me on red. That's how I know she cares. Me as their champion. <laughs> Beverly, you're a janitor at the Goblin Ball Stadium. Maybe you're right. Maybe a guy like me can't be the hero in my own life story. Well, that's not what I meant. Mom always said I lacked that main character energy. Damn. Tell me what to do, Lil. Should I return to my job or... Go off to rescue my darling love. Send him. Honestly, we have nothing to lose. Well, he could die. <laughs> like Jason said, we have, we have nothing, nothing to lose. lose. Okay, you're right. What the hell? I say, go for it, Beverly. Risk it for the biscuit. Watch, he rescues her and he ends up with her. Yep. It's a metaphorical biscuit. In this case, the biscuit is the princess. And you think I should risk what exactly? <laughs> Your life. Oh yeah, there we go. I have regrets. Risk your life, Beverly. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. If he ends up with her, I'm gonna be so Beverly mad. Beverly will remember this, Princess by the way. Demona, my life has no meaning anyway. That's so, so sad. I indeed. <laughs> and thus I will be off to find my destiny. Thank you, Lil. Well, he's either gonna die tragically or win her, or win her over. There's no in between. No. There is no in between. <laughs> Hey! Hey! I wonder if you're gonna be mad that we killed your representative, but... Pathetic, weak coward! You should do the honorable thing and let me kill you! Okay. Oh, oh, you would easy. just love that, wouldn't you? I think yes. Yes, <laughs> I would. Yeah. I would like to commend you on your choice of adventurer. The princess is as good as rescued! On behalf of the Marvog Empire, I vehemently disagree. You had the chance to send a powerful warrior, but instead you chose a sneaky, deceitful thief. Oh shit, I didn't think I didn't realize his representative was the thief. I thought he oh. was the She made the, the right mage. choice. The kingdom yeah, of Petrod supports her. Wait, fuck. The Marvog Empire would grudgingly accept an apology for your actions. Yes, apologize. 100%. Apologize, yeah. Looking yeah, we back, killed her Gape. Nice! Nice! Nice, nice Zach! I over again, I would choose the warrior. Nice! Please Zach! My error I mean, come and on. Do not take it as a Dude, suck up! I like this! Empire. The Marvog Empire accepts your... Yes! Okay! Yes, we're back on pack! Okay! You truly are a friend. <laughs> Zach, what the fuck is nice? Soon be forgotten. Roll a nat 20 on that Slight apology. This shall be remembered by the kingdom of Petra. Shut the fuck up. No, yeah, get, get him out, dude. Uh, I don't think we have Zach, that, that was money. really well played, dude. I, I didn't expect that. To no, work. I thought we were fucked. Hey, we killed your guy. You mind? Oh, no, that's fine. I didn't. I didn't even know the thief was his representative, like you said. For some reason, I can't see the achievements when they pop, but we did get an achievement. Nice. You've been at this a while. Oh. You should have enough cash by now to power up your arsenal. Yeah, also did get on the crystals too. So. Yeah. Um. Ooh. Don't have enough for an upgrade though. Ah. We could sell ahead. You could uh, sell ahead. We sell the head. Do you think the head's gonna come back up? I bet no. I I have no idea. What's in the head? What what? Whose head is wait it? Wait a minute. Wait. Her? We don't even have the. We don't even have the fucking zero dollar race with us. Oh come it's on. Worth zero dollars. Kids sells on worth zero dollars. Yeah, well, I like the option. Um, I don't know. That's a tough call for me. I I don't know well, if I want to. Here's long. here's the other thing. What, we, we still have three crystals? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven. We have seven slots right now. So actually, there's no point in us buying an upgrade. Good point. Unless That's you wanted true. to use the extra, unless you wanted That's to use true. the X-ray twice. Or sorry, not the X-ray, uh, the, uh, probably the decoder let's, ring? Let's buy one of the the risky crystals. And yeah, then just, I like that. And then that. just bankroll like our that. money for tomorrow. I like that a lot, That's actually. Fair. That's fair. Save, let's save. Yeah. Nothing good right now. 
The risky crit crystal gives us, gives us an option for like a you know a one bigger, of these bigger gain later. Yeah. Uh, technically, we talked to her, but I wonder if I we talked to this. I don't want to make game. things any worse than okay, they good. are. Good to know. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Way to choose. I'm glad. Nice choice. Nice choice. Mm -hmm. I wonder if like 90 percent of the, the population picks that, but uh, you know, who talk cares? To her, can't but... talk, Lil. Pretending it's like, to wipe the counter while it, I eavesdrop it, on the in the Walking the Dead. It's there. like picking what's his fucking name versus the gun, Carly versus Doug. <sighs> yeah. Like. No one's picking Doug. <laughs> what, like, I, I think it was like 12% of people picked Doug. Like 12% <laughs> fucking... I've got done everything I need to it's do. so shitty, because like, sure Carly has a gun, and it's the the, yeah. the the shipping choice, I guess. It's, yeah, it's 100%. Majority it's of people who played it were like... Which is like she legitimately has a gun. It's yeah. just like... Having discovered Buffy, the hidden no. message, Great Uncle Jerry's will, Buttface ditched his cart of wilted produce and set out to pursue his dream. The money he yep. made off... The oh, farm that's he so bought, clever! An old castle in a snowy little village Zach. in the mountains. The where he set up his deer. chocolate oh. shop. Oh, the haunted God. taco deer! It's, wow. a, it's, a, it's a double layer joke. That's awesome. Well, that's really clever. Concerned that's really Ape, good. Where are you at? That's so good. Well, at least, oh, at, take your time with it and make it a great game. But I hope that game comes out. Uh, I bet it's not coming out this year. But I know, I know, but. After months of painstakingly collecting ingredients and mastering intricate recipes, he unfortunately discovered the castle he purchased was extremely haunted! No oh, there you go. Don't believe his pleas for help dealing with spirits and phantoms. In fact, the town doctor had him declared insane and carted him off to the sanitarium! Oh, which, no. as it happened, was also located in a different haunted castle. No! No. But face. Butt face. Face. face just not going well Maybe for Maybe he should have jailed Buttface instead. Yeah, honestly, he might have been better off. Uh, I, I denied Buttface and I forget what happened. Mm. Oh no, not Buttface. Wow. Children of that snowy little town still tell the tale of the goblin in the castle who smelled of moldy rice. Oh no! This ends Buttface. Buttface. We're never gonna see him again. No wonder. Oh, because we didn't. Get, we. No, it doesn't matter because we didn't get the. Uh, it's probably because we didn't get the uh, the ribbon or whatever the. Blue ribbon he didn't thing. have. He didn't mm. have a ribbon. That's what I'm saying. So like we, the, it probably didn't influence the story at much yeah. at all. Edward the Great, or THE Edward the Great, eventually arrived at Becky Schneiderman's birthday celebration. He hit okay. the ground running with his t tried and tested routine. He opened a pick a card and moved into Is That Your Handkerchief and ended with the strong classic How Many Eggs Do You Have in Your Pocket trick. Alright, Edward. Alright, Edward. Fortunately, none of these impressed the preteen partygoers, which THE Edward clearly see now that he had glasses. Damn. After his performance, Edward enjoyed a nice piece of vanilla cake no. and awkwardly waited for Mr. Schneiderman to settle his payment. With the check in pocket, the Edward went straight to his parents' garden shop to boast of his success. Fortunately, the Edward's parents didn't consider it a check for 37 gold, 40 before taking deducting the price of a piece of vanilla cake to be much of a success. I don't think that doesn't sound that bad in terms of gold. They oh, were very no. disappointed in their son's career choice, which the Edward could clearly <laughs> oh, see because no, of his Edward. glasses. Wow, that hits a little close to home for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm worried about my son. Oh, no. Okay, maybe, maybe there's redemption in this one. Gary okay, and Julian yeah. were afraid of going to jail. With the increased hostility towards their kind on the outside, they only imagined it would be worse on the inside the dungeon walls. To their surprise, uh, among the other wrongfully convicted and prejudiced prison population, they found a captive audience. Okay. They told their comrades of the plight of the common goblin and the injustices they've faced in life. Although they had missed the Goblin Liberation Army's official secret rally, they may do by holding their own for their fellow inmates. They inspired many, helping spread the good word of okay. rebellion in the sprawl. Okay! Okay, chat! It worked out! Not, hold on. After 48 hours okay, of there we go. to release, life on the outside would never be the same for them again. Having discovered a type of kinship among the incarcerated, Gary and Jillian took new stock of their infamous idea that there is no distinctly sprawling criminal class except Congress. Mark oh. Goblin Twain. Wow. I did like that they redeemed this story that sending them to jail actually doesn't end badly. Yeah, yeah, thank God. <laughs> After only 48 hours, which isn't that bad. Yeah, okay, his name is Echo the Wanderer. Uh, after stopping at the Twisted Sister for a glass of his tipple of choice, Echo proceeded to head to the, down to the Pinheads, the local bowling club in the sprawl, where his team was playing for a league night. Thanks to the calming effects of his particularly potent Peace Blossom, he was unstoppable, bowling a perfect 300. Oh, wow. His team went on to win the league, and a commemorative photo was put up on the wall at Pinheads to celebrate Echo's perfect game. Dude, Echo's a... Echo's a fucking baller. No! No, Neil! <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. Neil! 
The award killer, the hard-headed go-getting warrior turned pile of dust was swept into a dustbin and then oh tossed out God. the window. End. Articulous Flame Hands, having lost so you think you can save a princess, uh, he returned to his tower and his pile of unpaid bills. Not gonna lie, Articulus really needed this gig. The reward for saving a member of the royal family would have settled the lion's share of his debts, not to mention the money he'd save with all that free soup from Monty's. Alright, Perry, how'd you do? After winning Save You okay. So You Think You Can Save a Princess, Perry shouts in, threw down one of his patented smoke bombs to mask his swift escape. Once outside, after recovering from a minor smoke, in minor smoke inhalation, the sly thief began to pickpocket, stalk, and eavesdrop on everyone in the sprawl for any dirt on the whereabouts of the lost princess. And then it hit him. It was a brick thrown by some angry by someone angry at Perry for stealing their wallet. It seems that the thief had failed his hide in the shadows check, and there was a small mob forming around him. A trusty smoke bomb would get him out of his bind, he thought. Uh, yes. And it would have if he hadn't used his last smoke bomb to exit the game show studio. Damn it. After retrieving their stolen property, the mob carried Perry to the tallest tower in the sprawl and threw him off. No one would ever be bothered by Perry Shoutson again. Okay, well, so he didn't rescue the princess. And so. actively died. I feel like the warrior would have also failed too. Like, attack the yeah, wrong guy it's a good idea. I can tell you how he fails if you'd like to know. Uh, I would like to know. Lil, rise uh, and shine. So, it basically says he finds the princess. Uh huh. Charges in, uh -huh. slaughters everyone easily. Uh huh. Then realized he hadn't found the princess. He had just ran into a farmer's market. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yes, Neil Warcaro just okay. runs into a farmer's market, murders everyone, and then that's pretty much how it ends. So technically, we only let we, one person one die. Per well, we killed two people. Neil and. Perry. Oh, you're right. Okay, so two people died instead of a bunch but, of people. This, this, is, yeah. this is the trolley problem of Lil Guardsman, all right? <laughs> Arguably, you saved more lives by murdering Neil Warcaro. <laughs> well, but, but here's the thing. I also... He ends up doing is murdering more innocent people. Based off you apologizing, though, I think that's the one that Yeah, I think that was a more thing, important choice. As opposed I hope. To the, I hope, yeah. That seemed to be more impactful. Mm -hmm. Why, Dad... You rise, you shine. I'll take five more minutes. It's time to get up. Shouldn't you be down at the guard shed? And shouldn't I be heading down to cover for you? Do you want the good news or the bad news? <laughs> I always go bad news first. Yeah, let's, let's start with bad news. We have to work the night shift tonight. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm going back to bed. No, you're getting out of this house and taking some time to yourself today. At Why work. do we have to work the night shift? Oh, we're working night shift too? Uh, good news or bad news? I never want to pick double bad news, okay, but, he, but the way he worded that... You didn't give us that, any good news, bro. You're supposed to... It's, you don't do good news or bad news. You give both. That's double bad. Apparently, you didn't pick the right person's champion for the rescue mission. Whatever this is Striker means. punishing and us. They're punishing you for it. Fuck. Oh, oh. Fuck Striker, dude. Praise, did this happen to you when you did it? Like, hey, you, you, you're doing night shift tonight, doesn't matter. Okay, just making sure. And yeah. I won't Night shift, to though, is a really, has some really fun mechanics to it. So, get pumped for night shift. I would assume it, whoever you didn't pick would be mad anyway. So yeah, no, yeah, no matter what, you're, yeah. Yeah, you're working night I, shift. I, I, yeah, I just assumed it was Ash punishing me or something. <laughs> Matt Ben and Guard said night shift. Five Nights at Freddy's reference. Yeah, you have to uh, watch out for the animatronics. Honestly, but, but I would uh, not put the, that past this game for them to do a Five Nights at Freddy's there reference. There isn't any. I guess it was just bad news this time. Oh Who's man, you can't you? do that. No one. I work the night shift a couple times a week to help us get by. Oh, Dad. I didn't know that. So, I guess you could say the economy. Okay, he's is turning pension. around the stream. That and inflation. If taxes keep going up, I might have to get a third job so we can keep affording things like your little doohickey here. The radio? Wait, don't touch that. <laughs> oh, the oh, time the thing. Hourglass, yeah. oh! Whoa. What just happened? Dude, Dad, there was like a 12% chance you would have died. Do you want the good <laughs> news or the bad news? Both oh, are. Nice. I nice. don't know. Do you feel okay? I feel fine, sweetie. No need to look all blurry about it. You get out of here and enjoy your day off. But don't enjoy it too much. You have to work all night, remember? Okay, okay, I'm going. Just uh, 
Try not to operate any heavy machinery until I get back. I should probably check in with Dr. B and make sure my dad isn't radioactive. Okay, so I guess we get to walk around in the daytime this time, huh? What can we look at? Yeah, maybe. Oh, we, oh nice. sh I'm glad we clicked it then. Also, yeah, I'm sad we didn't get a radio it. thing. Yeah, no radio today? You were just trying Rats! to sleep? <laughs> oh god, they're everywhere. Batman! What is this, the New York oh, subway? God, the rat problem is even worse than I thought. We eat all no, of our meals here. No, it's a little bit cleaner than that. God, genuinely, uh, last week I went to, there's, our garbage is like a small alleyway that we put it's our shit in. So and I, I went to put it down and there was literally, I saw five rats in one. It's, it's ah. annoying. It's annoying because New York could be fucking good, dude. It could be. I mean. In terms of the trend. The, the transit and, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's just, no one gives a shit. Yeah. Uh, she gags. Can we talk to the rats? Holy shit. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's, I hope one of the rats actually talks. That would be incredible. Oh, he goes like, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Yo, he's wearing a... <laughs> oh, no. This hat, it is not <laughs> as fantastic as my previous hat. <laughs> Talk, journey, not a hat. It continues. Damn it, that's, <laughs> no, that's so, not a hat. That's so funny. I, also, I, I, I genuinely wonder if they just had him record that line once and they're just replaying it every time. I hope so. Uh, I, hope, I hope he had to record like just his actual lines when you meet him and then just I, that line oh, over it, just like that line one time. Damn it, I'm so sad. That's so, Matt Pettengard said Rat Hat Man. Yeah, I'm so sad that Scott Rat Man went to bed. That would have been the perfect joke for them. Yeah. Rat Hat Man. <laughs> Tell him to watch this video so he gets that joke. I think I can hear my friends out back. Oh. I want to go. Who? Wait, Who? you have friends? You have, yeah, Jesus. I don't mean that in like a bad way, a but. Bad mean way, yeah. Who we, when who the game we... starts, remember, she does say this was the day her and her friends were oh, going to go on an adventure. That's true. Oh, that's true. Yeah, okay. Who we got? Uh, Friends? Hello? Friends? Oh, we can keep walking. Okay. Uh, Isla, Simon, Lamont, how's it going, guys? First off, that's incredible. Secondly, I'm wondering if the pictures on the wall are like pictures of devs or like. Uh. You'll 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 get a chance to look at the wall. Okay, cool. Okay. Cool. Hey, if it isn't Little Miss, I haven't been around for a while. Where you been all this time? Okay, well I was working a Not job. Not around. I got what every kid fears they'll get one day. Chicken box? <laughs> Worse than that, Simon. I got a job. Yo, shout out to that what time I got chicken to? box at Disneyland. Well, you Ouch. just missed the rock throwing portion of our morning. Sadly, we chucked the last rock in the alley over the fence. Next, Damn. well, we were thinking of seeing if we could get our mitts on some of the cool stuff that Garby guys got over there. They look like magical toys, basically. Don't steal from him. I'm gonna say bad idea. That's a bad idea. Garby's kind of our guy. Yeah, Garby's cool. I have to use a bunch of those for my job. Nice, even nice. Even though they look like a barrel laughs, they're serious business. Come on, Lil. For some reason, the world is basically treating you like you're old. Work your magic and score us some sweet loot. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but I'll talk to Garbanzo over there and see. <laughs> I love that they just constantly say his name differently. Oh, yeah. Most of these criminals are part of the notorious Hilltop Gang. Yep, that's literally yep. the developers. Wow! Yeah. Fucking called that. Very, very clever. Yeah. They literally put themselves as wanted posters. Hey, it's nice that they're still giving goblins a chance to work in the workplace, too. What are they supposed uh -huh. to do? Goblin. <laughs> Yo, shout Control out to all the bad rap on them. Shout out to uh, Not Quite Pridge over here. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> There's always got to be one character that we so say the is crazy in a game. The guy in the top right is Chris, but evil, I guess. This character? No, no. Oh, no. this character, yes. No, no, to the right, no, to the right. Oh, the this. Right. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I was like, what do you think Chris looks like? Not <laughs> <Got> that. <laughs> Hi, Lil. Sorry, I'm not quite ready to open up the shop yet. I can't seem to find my inventory key. What are you doing up so early? Mm. Uh, well, we'll tell the truth. We're exploring. Just, yeah, yeah, just work in the graveyard shift tonight. 
So, I'm finally available to see some of my friends who have responsible parents and reasonable <laughs> bedtimes. People like those small hooligans over what there? The she see why um, kids love cinnamon uh -oh. toast crunch? Yo, Chris just subscribed and yo, that dude has glasses. I can't believe they stole that from the hit internet personality bridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how bridge was the first one you already defined, because that's the classic yeah, we have that's, to go that's, to. Yeah, it's the classic. Yeah, but all of you guys wear glasses! <laughs> I don't wear glasses. Okay. Those aren't small hooligans. They're my friends. <laughs> and I was actually coming to talk to you about letting us borrow a couple of items. No. Okay. I, actually, I wonder. I wonder if the the voice actor is Canadian because the way they said, borrow. 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 Yeah, borrow. I borrow. stand by my statement. And we can talk about loaning you some merchandise later. I don't know what you're First, talking about. I've lost the key to my inventory, and I think one of them might have stolen it. Maybe you could talk to them for me. Work your little guardsman magic and see what you could do to get it back. You're gonna tell me Hi. to whip my friends? Uh... Don't. Guys, don't whip your friends. <laughs> how do you Bye. think? How do you? How do you think I get get, get these guys to keep doing save data streams? <laughs> By whipping us. <laughs> All right, guys. Or time not to whipping us. <laughs> why do you think I'm wearing? Why do you think I'm wearing the jacket right now to you. cover up the whip marks from the other day? <laughs> <laughs> Was me. I don't know. I ain't saying nothing. Okay. So that's the way it's gonna be, is it? Listen, I need that key to upgrade tools and buy more power crystals. So one of you is gonna tell me who's responsible. Are you a lawyer all of a sudden? Oh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nope, but I'm a guardsman. I hope you oh. got your story straight, because I really don't want to go down to the guard shed and get my metal detector. So tell me, which one of you took Garby's key? It was the oh, guy with the fucking pipe. Wait, wait, was his key? Yeah. Wait, do we do we pick to talk to them or pick to or, accuse yeah, them? Yeah, I don't know if this is I don't know if this is accusing or like asking. You're, you're, you're interrogating them. Okay, okay, okay. thank you. Okay, it was Simon. Okay, Lamont says it was Simon. Simon okay. says. I've never brought this up to the group before, but I think okay. Isla is a kleptomaniac. Okay. I always see her taking things out of Lamont's backpack when he's not looking. But also... Okay. Between you and me, I saw Lamont poking his big, dumb, handsome nose that sits in the middle oh. of his gorgeous face all Whoa. around that booth. It was probably him. Oh, he's such a bad boy, but also... I could make up my mind now, or dig a little deeper. Oh, dig, dig, dig. Yeah. Yeah, one more, one more. So, so Lamont said it was Simon. He said it was Simon. Simon said Simon it was Simon said Lamont. it was Isla. Or, yeah, Isla. right. He right. yeah. said it was Isla. Isla, 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 said, it was Isla said it was Lamont. Lamont. So mm. right now you just got a big, right now you just got a big triangle. Until yeah. we get to the thing where one's a truther and one's a liar. Yeah. And I you said can't it trust before, him. I'll say it again. I see. It was Isla. Okay. Wait. Well, he switched. You didn't no, say Isla before. Yeah, he, he switched. He changed so he, his, he changed his so Lamont's, story. So Lamont's looking real I fucking guilty right now. I know it me. I'm in a bit of a two-strike situation with my parents, and I'll be sent to the National Ballet School in Marlog. Oh, if I oh my god, <laughs> you'll die. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a good callback, yeah. But I'm telling you, Lamont got here first, and I saw him rooting around Garby's shop. Yeah, okay. Lamont's looking bad here. Okay, Simon? Maybe Isla is in a klepto, but she did go through his bag just before you got here. Okay, okay. well, she might have taken, taken it from the bag. Maybe she's got a good reason to be going through his stuff. Maybe she was looking to see if he stole so it. I didn't see anything. Yep, that's it. That's got to be it. It's it's Lamont, dude. Guide the pipe. Get him out of here. So, did you figure out who took my key? Bust his ass. We're saying Lamont. I hate to. Oh, no, it's got to be. But I think it was. Oh, it's Lamont, dude. If they do the thing where where I look like guys, I'm going to be pissed, but. Yeah, I think it is Lamont. It was probably Lamont. He's the tough looking kid with the missing tooth. Thanks, Lil. I'll be right back. Uh oh. Hey, uh oh. You, mullet boy. No. Stay right where you are. Garby isn't smart or strong or fast, but by the time he reached Lil Lil's hooligan friends, oh, nice. they'd run off. But Lil had been correct and startled. Lamont dropped the key as he fled. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, got the key back. And those hooligans ran off. It's a win-win. Now my shop is ready to open. 
Well, we didn't Helping even hang out, out with them. I'd like to offer you some gold to upgrade one of your tools. Nice. Oh. Nice. 50 gold. Whatever your little heart desires. Oh. Yeah, Holy 50 gold. Shit. Holy shit. He's, he's, spent, yeah. he's bought you a nice 50. Um. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Depends which one you want. I think last place for me is the metal detector. Because I feel really? like that's the most obvious. Yeah, I feel like I feel like decoder, decoder ring is so ring is... specific. I personally think the whip is the one I've had. I, the least I was about to say I think oh. opportunity to, uh, re reason to use. Oh, I yeah. think every time we've used the whip, it's been helpful. It, it's like when you have the decoder, you know when you're going to use it. Though, yeah, I think. yeah, that's what I'm saying. The metal detector, like I feel like, it's even more obvious than the decoder. I don't know. Because it, it it overlaps a little bit with the X-ray for me. That's my agreed. But that's up to you. My vote. My my vote is decoder, but it's the boring answer. The whip is not a bad answer either. I just would not pick the. So I'm saying, I I think the whip isn't a terrible choice, honestly. I uh, yeah. I mean, how many people do you whip? Want to whip during the day though? That, okay, don't answer that. <laughs> but don't answer that. Uh, uh, whipper detector. Okay, I'm in. That's pick one. Pick one, yeah. But I think we need to buy one more shitty crystal. To buy a shitty help crystal. With that slot. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Hell yeah. Yeah. Whip only on. Oh, Tuesday. um, hmm. if you go back to the dumpster where your friends yeah, were. Yeah. Yeah. The friends. Oh, yeah. There's. Build a dumpster dive. I mean, yeah. I feel bad, but I'm gonna do it. Hell oh yeah! God, wow. Fuck yeah! That's a good, that's a oh, good my crystal? oh my god! God, yeah. That's thirty gold, baby. Huge. Uh, now, if you want a funny oh thing, you can dumpster dive again. Oh. I found a I found a craft crystal. I dumpster dived a third time and was eaten alive by rats. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get that crack crystal though. <laughs> <laughs> I tried for three and I died. That's so funny. The game's like, no, you got too greedy. Game over for you. Hell yeah! Inside a pizza box. As she got out, she heard the sound of many rats filling. Yeah. The dumpster. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> try to tell you not to do what I did. That's really do not funny. Try third time. You die. God, I still can't get over that fucking the one bad end we Burned got last alive. time. Yeah, and just her popping up on the end, the game over screen, be like, I don't know, this was that kind of game. Uh, oh, what the fuck? I mean, more places are probably open during the day. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. What the? Well, let's go. Oh, we can see this blue, the blue wall. Yeah. Oh shit. No! Oh. Just gonna walk by. Well, wait a minute. Can we get them out, maybe? Oh. oh. Wait, you looked at the bucket. Prisoners who I don't think you can, I don't think you can talk to them. Okay. Yeah, no, we can't. Yeah, Damn. Okay. Well, okay. That's... Okay. Good going, Zach. You reminded of us the 24 gold that we said they we got. They about. got let free according to the thing. Well, maybe in two days. Oh, so yes. there's, there's, there's one more day. Yes. There's one more day yeah. where they're not free. Okay, okay. Uh, she said to go talk to B, so let's do that. There's a note. Oh. I have convened a meeting of the Mages Guild. The dig site is okay. closed for the day. Okay. Well, that's just great. What am I supposed to do now? I guess I could go back in time ah. when she was here. It says, didn't it always say only use it in the guard's office, though? That's true. It, does, it, it did say that. Yeah. yeah well, Dr. That seems... B did say I could only use it at the guard shed. Look at that. Okay, well, that's why yeah. it's on the fritz. I better just get to my ship before this thing I, explodes. Yeah. Good call. Good call. I was like, that's. I also did not take the risk. Okay. I was hoping you'd be like, yeah, I got a bad end. <laughs> No, I'm no, like, I don't want to. I, I just died from rats. Yeah, he just got eaten alive by rats. Fair. Come on, no. Present? Perhaps a secret admirer? Uh oh. Oh. 
Uh, Dakota Rink. Dear Lisa, thanks for picking my guy. <laughs> Not okay. fucking Lisa. Uh, he left last night to find a role of missingness, okay, yeah. and we haven't heard from her since. Also, we think he took some stuff before he left. Anywho, please find the enclosed cash. Bonus of 500 gold? Oh, what? Wait, what oh, do you mean no. we don't have 500 gold? The thief stole it? Well, that's just yeah. great. I've now written all this down in this letter. Anywho, please find okay. an enclosed cash bonus of 100 gold. Okay. Lousy, stinking thieves. You can't trust them. P.S. Yeah. Shame to hear you have to work the night shift. Malcolm. Okay, okay. Malcolm. Okay, Malcolm. It's huge. There is no writ for the night shift. However, there is a book. Yeah, with hundreds a monster lot. Manual. Two upgrades. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, what the oh, fuck? fuck! The monster manual, baby. Oh, doppelgangers! Holy the monster wait, manual. this game just shit. opened up. Holy shit! Okay. The night shift has a cool monster manual given. Oh no! Wow. Okay, doppelganger slash shapeshifters. Very okay, there's rare. the whip. The whip. The whip. Weakness. Oh, yes. That's physical damage. Physical damage. Does your loved one seem more addled than usual? Maybe they've been replaced by a doppelganger. This okay. monstrous creature have the ability to superficially assume the appearance of anyone. Okay. When no dealing with a suspected right. shapeshifter, show them an item they would recognize when possible. Show them their child. Show them Jimmy. Okay. Chemical compounds such as the patented truth spray have no effect. Who did she cut the head off of? Oh, we have no idea. Uh, yeah, okay, she says she just has a head. Oh, okay. it, was, uh, it was the other. It was one of the other envoys she was competing with to be chosen as envoy. Okay, uh, okay, okay. I okay. thought it was like, well, what would be sick if it was like a monster head we had in there or mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, next, we got forest entities. Eh, eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stomp and thwomp. They're weak to fire. Woodcutters axes. Oh, we got. We do have the fire. We have the blowtorch still. Nice. That's uh, good. Perfect. Size nice. climbable. Nice. Uh, the story of the first transformation from mundane tree to sentience. Okay. Mobile being is lost to history. These creatures are extremely dangerous, but generally motivated by threats to their territory. The bark so of the forest entity is often the size of site of cryptic magical runes. Oh wow! Things that can be deciphered. Ring. The Dakota ring. Okay. Goblins. Uh, when the great expansion of the Sprawl was undertaken by King Osmond I and then his son, King Osmond II, oh, goblins participated as laborers and artisans in the city's construction. In recent times, various crimes and misfortunes have been widely attributed to this group, leading to their decreased presence in public life. Okay. Whether or not they have an actual predisposition for crime or mayhem is hotly debated by the High Council and non-human rights. Another groups. whip as a weakness potentially here, yeah. too. Okay. Uh, herring. Red. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. That's good. <laughs> this is such a good joke. Weakness, careful consideration, special attacks cause confusion, create conflict where none should exist. This is good. But where are the red herring? It's a siren. It's siren's call has led many adventurers to follow the path, the wrong path to find enemies where none exist. Use your judgment and don't believe everything you hear or see. The temptation to believe a red herring is strong, but be vigilant and you will come out on top. Lycanthropes, aka werewolves. Uh, bestial rage, silver, the rising sun, chaotic evil, post transformation equals big AF. Uh, yeah. something, something, the slick, uh, academics are split on whether this affliction is magical or medical. The cursed afflicted person suffers an attack or bite and come the first full moon transforms into half man, half beast killing machine. In most cases, the individual remains blissfully unaware of the transformation, but in some cases they know and desperately seek asylum to save loved ones from their dark passenger. Mole, Mole people. people. Oh no. Weakness is daylight, non-fatal. Uh, special attacks digging and biting when provoked. Okay. Long ago, subspecies of humans and elves carted a life underground. This evolutionary branch began to change to accommodate their new existence. They became smaller, relying on more, re relying more heavily on their sense of smell and hearing than their soon underdeveloped eyesight. In addition, their hands and fingers became more claw-like because of the digging. While considered disfigured and even monstrous by some, please do not persecute the mole people. They aren't. They are not to be punted. After all, without mole person labor and digging know-how, the sprawl wouldn't enjoy the world's greatest sewer system. Necromancer. Weakness their egos. That's good. Size all bodies and beach bodies. Ooh. Magic practitioners who have broken their codes and oaths and turned to forbidden arts, although not illegal, it should be discouraged from they should be discouraged from entering the sprawl. Mages Guild would gladly welcome a fallen wizard who s has seen the error of their ways back into the fold. However, not one has yet chosen to give up their dark arts once they've tasted that sweet, sweet necromancy. And lastly, vampires. Uh, weakness sunlight, garlic, counting bags of small grains. Oh, it's the rice! 
Oh my god, it's gonna come back to save us. The rice. The rice. Holy <laughs> shit. Shout out to Buttface. Is this the Buttface redemption arc? It, really it is the Buttface redemption arc. Uh, in centuries past, vampires were the stuff of myths and legends, sticking to the shadows and covering their ghastly deeds in order to remain hidden from polite society. Recently, as a result of the powerful vampire rights movement led by goth rock icon Vlad Extreme, vampires have come out of the closet and many have become protective members of society. There you go, chat. There's your canonical gay vampires. There's your canonical gay vampires. <sighs> Amazing. All right, so we got we got counters for a lot of them. We do. All right, let's uh, let's. Wow, we, have, we have so many guarantees. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, uh, do we want to? We totally get up. I want to waste all my. Yeah. What are you doing, dude? Okay. One, one each minimum. Yeah, let's do that. We know we're gonna need that one because of the ends. You could do a fake one on truth. Oh, let's let's get a let's get a guarantee double guarantee on bullwhip because we might need that tonight. Yeah. But everything get a else fake is one, fake fake one on a uh, truth. There didn't seem many truth ones. Well, this this way we get guaranteed and we still have two okay. fakes. Okay, that's fine. It's not a bad decision. Yeah, I, I'd rather that's, that's... always pick the the guarantees when we can because it's thirty five percent, which is nothing. It is oh, fuck. Bad. Okay, first off, incredible. Good evening, child. I have not uh, seen you at the post before. Also, oh, no. you got the to, grain? Shout out to Silver Warrior in the chat. It says, I guess they're called vampires because they're bisexual. <laughs> Thank you for the good Metal Gear Solid 2 reference coming soon to save Data Team. Yeah, you know how it goes. Drew the short straw this time. Burning it at both ends, you know. Just gotta keep on trucking through. <laughs> I hear you, working the graveyard shift myself. <laughs> oh, okay. You said it. Uh, I mean, do, do, we just we just, do we just throw the rice Grain in? him, dude, grain him. Grain him rice. Grain, grain him rice. Grain Maybe rice. this will loosen your lips. Oh. A bag of rice. You're showing me a bag of rice? Why <laughs> would you do such a thing? Would you happen to know how many grains of rice there are in that bag? I don't know. A lot? Holy crap. Okay, <laughs> just give it to me. I will count them for you. What? A bag of rice I never in all my years. <laughs> okay, weirdo. Next. Hell yeah. Oh my, instantly. <laughs> but a vampire's curse to count every Fuck grain of rice yeah. in the bag. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Nice. He doesn't have a picture because you can't take pictures of vampires. Oh my god, that's a good joke too. I... The rice, baby. The butt face redemption arc. This game never ceases to make me like. Y'all are y'all were cooking with this shit. This is an incredibly clever game. Yeah. Uh, Listen, little girl, there isn't much time. Oh, you must this is send a werewolf. Me to jail immediately. I pray yeah. you don't make me explain any further. He's got a we moon thing on his belt. Right. How do we... We, do, oh, we, we didn't was, have a... He was we, the Undertaker. Oh, but also yeah, we have to be fast. But, Sprinkle, yeah, but her, at, her, at Sprinkles her, funerals. Her. At Sprinkles. This guy doesn't yeah. seem interested in small talk. Yeah, hurry. We don't have a counter to this guy. Yeah, we gotta put him in jail. Oh, put him in jail. It wasn't like a obvious way to beat this guy. Yep. Thank you. Bless you, child. The world is a safer place now. I really hope you get the help you need. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look at that! Nice! nice. <sighs> okay. Let's go. We're so many, good at video games. How many people we have tonight? Uh, I didn't see the number. Fuck off. Oh my god. This is this is a uh shapeshifter. 
<laughs> well, it's a uh, medium no, to small no, humanoid, one. though. Not a god, just an incredibly handsome but mortal. Probably. People make that mistake all the time. It uh, is I, it, Prince it, Phineas, it, heir to the throne physical. of Petra. Whip him. Whip him. The only oh, thing about it, I want to. We don't fun. have the manual on us, do we? Uh, oh yeah, you can look at you can look at it where the red is, and in that book next to the uh, Wikipedia okay. thousand. Yeah, wow. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll check it again as soon as we get out of so this. I want to see if it's small or me. Or like... Really? <laughs> Eleven out of ten, baby. <laughs> oh, that was good. <sighs> do you have anything to declare? Please say no and just go about your business. As a matter of fact, I do. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I declare that I am. Go on. Go on. What? You kind of trailed off there. What? You said. I declare that I am. And then. That was really good. Yeah. That was holy and shit. <laughs> okay, and I feel like I'm gonna regret asking, but what have you been doing tonight? What do you want me to say? Milkmaids? Uh, or what oh are you doing with the milkmaids? <laughs> we've come this far. Yeah. Well, we've come this far. What have you been doing with the milkmaids? Oh no, not to her. Out for trying to stretch a single into a double. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Such a good joke! God damn Gross. it. Gross. Gross. Aren't you here trying to win the hand of Princess Desdemona? Well, sure I am, but when the Mage's Guild throws a party in your honor, boy, do they know how to show you a good time. And you can't stop a fox from stealing eggs, am I right? Huh? I hate that. I hate he's that. A, he's such a douche. What? What? What does that even mean? Oh, what it does what does that even mean? Everyone always thought was... the sprawl was crazy for being aligned with such an uptight group of old boars. They really know how to show a guy a good time. No, I meant the thing about the foxes stealing eggs. Can't stop them, and I'm the fox. <laughs> barf, 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 barf. <laughs> good night, Prince Phineas. That's me. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it. Now get out of here, you drunk fool! Oh, alright. We didn't have oh, any options. Yeah, shit. That was just the actual guy. That was just for color? Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. That's her! We gotta whip her. Okay, That's we, her. We, we have six doppelganger. people tonight. This is That's a doppelganger. Now. You're out small, awful late. Small humanoid with calling all it. These comings and goings about the sprawl. Oh my stars! Would you look at the time? How the day does get away from you? I I'm guess calling it my shot. Hmm. Check, check, check the doppelganger uh, alignment here. Uh, small to medium. Okay. They more adult. Uh. Do we have a picture? Do we have her muffin? Her muffin! Her cake that she gave us. Does she recognize it? Oh, oh! Cause she baked it the other day. Get her. Something is seriously weird here. Didn't I read nice. somewhere about nice. showing Jason? You good Get her. Call. Does Get her. this do anything for you? Oh yes, it is very nice. Thank you. No, get her. Whip her ass, dude. Oh, yeah. Whip her ass. Award-winning bonds, Mrs. Abernathy. Get her. You recognize it? Award. Oh, oh, oh my God, her oh, face. Oh, 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 oh. Zach, whip. <laughs> Pull the whip. Don't you recognize it? You're not Mrs. Abernathy at all, are you? Please let me move. No. Get out of here, you lousy shapeshifter monster. Oh. Did we win? Yeah! Okay, okay. Yes. I was even totally worried we're getting a bad end there. Well done, Jason. That you, was, you got it. That was, that was, yeah, 10 out of 10, Jason. Oh, I was so, I, was so I, I, I didn't remember if we had kept the bun in this playthrough. I'm, I, I'm glad we did, and I'm glad Jason recognized it. Gotta, gotta keep stuff, man. That was the good. The head, dude. That was good. Damn. Got the shapeshifter with 
Again, I'm, I'm assuming whipping them also works, obviously. Yeah. But oh. I get well, the same well, thing. Well, I recall that I had the, the, the cinnamon bun. And... The guard shed. I was hoping that me to get. Try to get the I'd perfect run, dude. Necromancer. Oh shit. To we are we are on the track for the perfect run. Holy shit. <laughs> This is stressful. This is stressful. I told you it's Ooh. so hard. Tough life. Okay, so Necromancer, I believe, yeah, is just that they should be turned away. Uh, for they should be discouraged from entering the sprawl, although not illegal. Uh, if if we can prove that they are trying to repent, we can let them in, though. Okay. But nobody um, has ever repented as a Necromancer. It's not. He's not a tree guy. He's not a vampire who did that, yeah. so... Let's talk to him and see what's going on. What exactly is this meeting you're attending? Yeah, that's good for repenting. If you must know, I was summoned by Prieto Kargan personally. Okay. It is a highly confidential matter that doesn't concern Okay, you. is she gonna try to revive the guy who got killed in the lightning round? <laughs> oh! That's pretty cool, actually. Uh... I mean, I think he's telling the truth. I think he's telling the truth, but Brainer I don't know how you... is here waiting on the decision of Princess Desdemona. Seems legit to me. Oh, good. So long as it passes your inspection. I was so concerned that you would have resurrection. Oh, wow. We're not going to be able to resurrect him if we turn him away, prove. though. Obviously. Bro, but like this... this guy... Also, can you... Re can you... Resurrect, resurrect ashes? <laughs> yeah. That's really can you question. resurrect dust? Because yeah. that guy got... Fucked up. He is literally done. What's in our bag? His his the end of his story yeah. literally says the end of the story. I he can resurrect the head. I don't know. <laughs> Give him the head. You're like, can you bring it back to life? Can you bring this back to life, bro? We fuck it. I'm gonna see if he does anything. Oh, okay, no, it doesn't. Damn. Okay, no. Um, that was uh, pretty clever, though. I mean, true serum. Find out the nature of his business and it, it never said and true serum repenting. doesn't work against them. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. It doesn't say that, so. When I was a little boy and my powers oh, were beginning no. to form, I had a budgie named Petey. Petey was my best, nay, only friend. When he flew full speed into the window yep. and fell to the floor. My innate ability to rouse the dead awakened. Okay. Have I spent most of my adult life trying to hide these forbidden gifts? Yes. Do they come in handy when certain foreign visitors practice their ballet and decapitate a few chamber moods? <laughs> yeah, they do that also, a lot. yes. I mean, this guy's a necromancer, so... You want to you ask him one more time, or, like, now that you got the truth out of him or something? Like, uh, sure. Why does Praetor Cargan want to meet with you? Hmm, I'm feeling rather generous today, so I will tell you. Okay. The Marvog High Council, led by Prietor Kargan herself, are concerned. As ceremonial killings have become more and more That's common, tough. their numbers continue to dwindle. Mm. With that in mind, the Empress reached out to me regarding the practice of necromancy to preserve the life force of some of these okay. brave fallen souls. I mean, he's telling the truth. He's telling like... the truth. Necromancy? <laughs> Isn't that bringing dead people back to life? Oh, child, it is so much more than that. With knowledge of life and death, the future and the past both fold atop one another, connecting us to all of time and giving us the ability to foretell not only what has been, but what is to come. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're, it's like, we're not supposed to let this guy in, so... Well, what, what's to say about repent? Not that I'm saying we 100% let him in, like, if... It says the Mage Guild's willing to let a necromancer in if they show that they're turned away from using necromancy. From yeah. using it, okay. And this then guy then is he, very he's much using not. It. He's using it. He is. He just said necromancy's awesome. Yeah. 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 It didn't say jail them though, right? 100%. No, no. It just said don't let them in. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's a shame. You have no right to deny me. No right to even you stand in my buddy. view, you pathetic yeah. smaggle. What the fuck did you just call me? What's that? Smaggle. Yes, oh. that is the word we made. Are they doing a Harry Potter joke? Yeah, muggle. Beings, uh, such as you, I thought that was always really weird. I get why they did it, but I I always thought it was very strange. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, uh, the Pridge will appreciate this. Apparently in uh, Apollo Justice, which we're playing right now, uh, 
Apollo has a line about uh, Volant Grammary, the magician. Like, and he's like, oh, I th- kind of thought he would think that I'm a muggle or something like that. And they they cut it out of the remake. They changed wow. the line. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty weak. <laughs> no, it is not weak. It cuts to the core. No, that's lame. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, get him out. The Praetor will know of your insolence, little one. I don't want the Praetor to be mad at us, but like... No, we, we're we getting the ribbon. What? <laughs> what? He knows. He knows I, the no, I don't. Okay, okay. wow. Damn. Fuck, that makes me sad. Yeah, we almost sad. I, I can tell you, I can tell you, it's not calling Ash. Okay. Mm, okay. That's well, bro, just burn him. You burn him. You just fucking burn him. Oh, Wait, well, you can decode him. Yeah, you we can decode, decode him, him, then burn him. Oh my god, are you some kind of scary tree monster? <sighs> yes. Now let me in, or I'll thwomp and stomp you. I was kind of thinking they were going to do an I am Groot yeah. fucking joke here. I, yeah. Uh, well, we're going to decode you, sir. <laughs> we're going to decode I noticed you have something you. carved on your bark, but I can't quite make out what it says. Somebody carved it on me when I was a sapling. It was a mistake. Right Mind now, if I, I try to down. read it? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. What do we got? It reads, to lodge all power in one party and keep it there is to ensure bad government and the what? sure and gradual deterioration of public morals. Wow. Does that mean anything to you? That was the words of person who came to words to write. I remember him. Mark Goblin Twain. <laughs> My God! A scary tree monster talked about how to make change in world. This fucking game. And was it through stomping and thwomping? No, it wasn't. He, he that was his scary life around, tree man. monster's idea. He spoke of change through something called corrupt government systems. <laughs> Maybe there's a better way to get people out of your woods. Maybe a more official way. Are you saying scary tree monsters should run for government office to implement yes. real systemic change? Yes, let's fucking do it, scary do tree it. monster! I'd Dude, vote for I'd you! Vote for him. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, hold on. What does the thing say about these ends? Obviously, you decode uh, them. Let me read this one. I'm more worried time. that their weakness is fire. But... Oh, it, their weakness is definitely fire. They're made of trees. Uh... Yeah. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Extremely dangerous, but generally motivated by threats to their territory. Honestly, I think we got the good ending with this guy. I don't want to burn him. I definitely don't want to burn him. That he's feels true bad. neutral. Oh, he's true neutral. You're right. Just fucking let him in. Well, let me talk to him one more time. <laughs> And what business would you say you have in the sprawl this evening? Too many people come through my woods. Too many strangers stomping on our roots and throwing their garbage on us. Mm. Me and my brothers and sisters say no more. Okay. I mean, that sounds like an honest He's thing. He's not lying. I just don't want him to go inside the city and cause chaos. <laughs> <laughs> that must be really hard on you That'd and the tough. other scary tree monsters. Not all are scary. Damn, the more you know. This is tough. Like I kind of want to let him in. I kind of want to let him in too. Okay then. We got hey, we man. got all our uses of the rewind. Let him in. Let's see what happens. This guy deserves it. I don't want to burn him alive either. Even yeah, though that feels an bad. Option. That feels bad. Yeah. <laughs> Just immediately without I believe bossy. in you, scary tree monster. I think okay. you'll make a okay. fine government okay. or congress tree or whatever you end up running for. That's pretty funny. Thank you. Now all I need is a snappy campaign slogan. Literally, uh, Okayus Boy in the chat said, leave us alone campaign slogan. A vote for me is a vote for a tree? Uh, Not quite as good. A little on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love give me that, give me that ribbon. Yes, yeah! let's go. Use a 
so we missed that, baby. We missed one. Yeah. Or we have one more person still. We, right? we, we have one more, but we we did okay. miss the. This uh, is a whip. The this is a whip for sure. Uh, Hello. I wish safe passage through this gate. Ooh, it's Can you. do. I'm just gonna need you to lift that hood. Gotta see if you're human or elf or gelatinous uh, I'm trying blob. To remember. Oh, it's the it's the herring. Tonight. It's the herring. I'm afraid I can't do that. Oh my god. I assure you, Jeez. I am here. Maybe. Now, please allow me safe passage. Oh my god, Jason. I think you're right. I think it's the. It's gotta be. What are the other options? I'm, I bet it is the red it's, herring. It's gotta be a herring. Right? Doppelganger, forest scent, goblins, red herring, it's... lycanthrope, mole. Mole people could be, but they're it's... small. Yeah. And yeah, the other ones we've had. Gotta be. But what's herring's weakness? What? How do you? The truth. It's logic. I think was what it was. Oh, like it's. Like, oh yeah, it's interrogating them fully. Yeah. Uh, careful consideration. Uh. Let's talk. You've got a real mysterious, don't ask me any questions vibe going on. What's up with that? I simply have nothing to state or claim. I just wish to enter. Hmm. I think we just keep doubting her. Yeah. Oh. You know, you could call I'd say you have a trusting face, but I haven't seen it yet. And you won't. Mm. What's uh? What's what's? They don't have. I said careful consideration. Does it mention tree serum or no? Uh, I don't, I don't think, it, think did. it did. I think it only mentions tree serum. I'm not working on shapeshifter. Yeah. Okay, that's shapeshifter. Okay. I mean, this would be a really easy one to use the truth serum on and see if we get an answer. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea. And we've only we've only used two, so we'll be back to exactly yeah, where sure. we are. I, I don't mind this. I am returning to the kingdom after being away. This is the princess. I have oh my god. This is the princess. Oh, it is the princess. There is a deadline that must be met. I have to inform them of my choice. Be gone, magic truth spray. Oh my wow. god. Nice, Zach. Got quite the resistance to that. Mind telling me how I could do that? Oh. Uh, it takes a strong-willed mind and a small knowledge of sorcery. How about a wandering brain and a great knowledge of rocks? We have to let her in then, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, don't, I, don't, don't. Uh, I'm trying to think. I was like, is revealing that she's the princess going to hurt us? But I want her to, like, know that we're cool, you know? Okay, well, you're going to have to do probably an interrogate mm -hmm. instead of calling some. I think calling is a mistake. Yeah, calling is bad. I'll talk one more time, see if we get anything. Okay, so, that's fine. Are you here for business or pleasure? I'm here on business. Which is mine and none of yours. No, uh, please let me pass. Uh, tr trust, trust. Yeah. Yeah, I get that a lot. Still gotta ask though. And you are doing your job admirably. Now will you okay. please let me pass? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think sending her to jail would be bad. Bad, bad. I think this is an admit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have to. She's not a monster. She's not a what? She's not like a monster, any like in terms no. of like, huh? no, like any. We don't have any other reasons not mm -hmm. admit her. So. I, think, I think this is it. This is this is good. Okay, I wish mystery woman, you may enter. I hope I don't regret this. I kind of wish they had her before the granny, so the you would think she's today. the doppelganger. No, 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 no. I don't think that would work because we don't know because we've never seen this person before. Yeah. The novel game goes funny because it's a it's a repeat of someone. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. That's yeah. true. I just what? wanted somebody to potentially whip the princess. Make my reward tacos. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! Incredible. A character we can all relate to. Damn it! Uh, that was bad. I. I I don't know what else to do though, because like I don't want to call. I don't want to call. I gotta. Ad. I gotta rewind that one. But, like, Two what stars. Are you gonna do scan. Do a scan. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fair. You might be able to see more about her if you scan her. Yeah. Her, like hair and stuff. Hello. I wish. Can do. Let's go straight to the scan. Uh, we'll use the the guaranteed. Yeah. Okay, amulet around the neck. Do we yeah. know that amulet? 
Maybe. Whoa, what's with the neck candy? A little out of place for someone dressed so discreetly. My necklace is none of your concern. So you stole uh. it. I did not steal it. Then it was a gift? Yes, from my mother. I mean, come on. I wish I got a gift like that from my mom. Only thing I got from her was this hair. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to confiscate the princess. It would be worth a lot of money, but yeah, you can't do that. Oh my god, that'd be, <laughs> you sell it for like 500 gold. <laughs> yeah, it would be worth Literally a lot of money. Yeah. every item instantly. Yeah. And you, you know, get the bad ending. You yeah. In order to get you to tell me more about yourself, but I won't. I greatly appreciate that. Greatly enough to tell me who you are? No. No, you're no fun. Damn it, maybe we should have confiscated it. Fuck. That emerald looked like the real thing. Maybe I should call one of the higher ups about it. Oh. I don't like it, but like. It might be the right answer. Ash should probably know about it? Yeah, she's the politician. Wow, you're really gonna call? I'm forwarding you to Mrs. Ash now. Please hold. Yeah. I well, we can rewind. We're one desperate. Time. We're, just... de we're desperate. They, I actually can't skip that. That's Lil, incredible. I heard something about a necklace. Hello to you too. Yes, the cloaked woman is rocking some serious necklace. No, silver I wish chain, she said big green rock. That's yes, not a silver code. chain. It was a gold chain. Yeah. That is the same necklace that the princess wears. Mm. Maybe the princess gave it to her as proof so that she could enter safely and relay a message to me. Let her in immediately. And tell Travis he's fired. Why? Oh, I tell him that every night. It's our little game. Ta! I'm still on a call, you know. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I want to tell her that Ash is expecting her now. That's a that's that's good. Yeah, I like that. You've got a real mysterious. Don't ask no. me any questions. Ah, that, I like oh. I like your thought on that. I like that though. I simply. It was, uh, it, was a, it was it was a nice it was actually a nice thought on that. Uh, You're claiming that you have nothing to claim, and you stated that you have nothing. Please, no games. Damn it! I mean, you might get three stars now, but you're definitely not getting the ribbon. Uh, I mean, personally, I'd rather rewind just to just to not have her get turned in. That feels bad. I'm not a narc. Um, well, can you can you see what happens if you get three stars? Except when you, except when you jail those goblins. Shh, it was it was, it was for the hey. comment. It was good. What we did was good. Let her in and then rewind. <laughs> what? Let her in and then rewind. Yeah, I guess we could do that. Because that that way you see it. I just want to see if you get three stars. I think you will. I don't know why, but something tells me I should let you enter. Maybe it's oh. the necklace. Maybe it's. Thank you. Taco. Tacos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh. I wonder if you use like everything on her. Like. Oh, oh my shit. God! You okay? It. Wow. Well done. Wait, I, that worked? I did not think that was gonna work. I was. I did not think. I did. I did not think that would work. Yeah. Okay. Well, then getting, I feel better about this choice. Full, getting I the just, full. Yeah, I got. I, I got three with no goal, but no four for scanning her. Yeah, because you didn't okay. call Ash. I didn't call. I, was I, too I, scared. Still, I, was, I, didn't, I didn't like I was calling too, Ash. I was too scared it was going to reveal her and make her mad at us. I mean, well, yeah, maybe, I maybe she's genuinely smarter than Ash and will outplay yeah. it. Because Ash was like, oh, she might not be the princess. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, that was my fear. But I mean, I'm surprised we got the ribbon. We only missed out on the vampire. All right, there. Oh, not vampire, the uh, the uh, the Necromancer. I've counted every single grain of rice in this bag. He's gonna catch on fire because the sun's rising, isn't he? I also counted fourteen <laughs> bugs, twenty-seven bottle caps, and one mouse skull. And you said I couldn't do it. No, I didn't. Oh, well, I did it anyway. <laughs> now, where were we? Ah, yes, you He's were just so about to invite me into game. a sprawl. He's so dead. I'm sorry, but it's almost sunrise, which means my shift is done. You'll have to wait until the next guard comes on duty. It's almost sunrise? Oh, holy hell, I can't believe I spent another night wasted counting grains of rice. I'll come back tomorrow night. Why not just wait until the daytime guard comes? Because I can't. 
Why not? Because I said I can't. I blister in the sun. I bet you do. Like a so long in the sun. The sun that we go on. Nice. Big hands, um, I knew you're the one. <laughs> no idea that's the joke they're going for, but it's the joke they get. They, they did the, the twisted sister shit, so I, I bet that they that is a hundred percent what they were yeah. trying to do. So long, obvious vampire dude. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good day of getting the the things. Yeah, we we did incredible except for yeah, the one. The necromancer. Ah, uh, oh, so close. I just don't know how to. I would fix it. Like I legitimately yeah. don't know. It's so funny. Is this the necromancer? Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Damn. I don't know what I would do differently though. <laughs> Tune our L cheered 100 bits saying, We're like, little shit, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> we have so much money, too. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can only go home. Damn. <gasps> oh, yes! Man, yeah. It's you! What are you doing here? Are you here to give me tacos? <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah, also. Tacos! Shout, shout out to Matt Pat and Gar in the chat said, I'm having the best mac and cheese right now. Y'all should be jealous. I am jealous. Damn. Now, I've come to reveal my true identity to you. Okay. So, no tacos? <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Desdemona. Let's see the princess reveal. Princess face reveal. Whoa, okay. I don't know. I wasn't expecting such a, like a stereotypical princess, you know? Yeah. I mean, I like her character, though, so I think it works. Nah, I knew it all along. No, you didn't. No, we did. <laughs> Why split hairs? <laughs> but what about the kidnappers? There were no kidnappers. I disguised myself and ran away. I'm sorry for all the commotion I've caused. But I had to get away to say goodbye to someone important to me before my wedding. Okay. I don't understand. Uh oh, what if it's somebody I'm being she's... forced to marry one of the suitors? Yeah, for maybe we're doing a bad thing. That's. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's old news. What I don't understand is why you, a princess, are here talking to me about it. Shouldn't there be more official people that could play therapist? <laughs> Ma'am, I'm 12 and this is a Wendy's. Like Stryker? Ash? Oh god. Oh, not Malcolm. I know my father had faith in them. When I'm gone, your advisors will help maintain the balance, blah, blah, blah. They want me out of the way so they can control my father's kingdom. They've never been good at listening to what I want or how I want to rule this land. Nobody listens to me. Okay, we're gonna get the good government arc. Sing it, sister. You're with the tree in charge. And now I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, get that tree! Get that tree! Or the Marvog Empire. You mean Phineas the Pompous Prince or Cargan the Praetor Terror? And it doesn't even matter if I love them or not. At the end of the day, it's strictly politics. Lucky me. This is the first time in the game I've been okay being 12. <laughs> I just want to make the right choice. Tell me, Lil, what do you think of Prince oh. Phineas? Terrible. He's the worst. Oh, he's, he's the worst. He's Actively, worst. Literally, yeah, here, literally yeah. we caught him like coming back from a yeah, wild he's the party. Worst. Way higher maintenance than you seem to be. And That's putting it nicely. Apple. No Thank sin. you. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. And what about Praetor Cargan? She didn't do anything as bad. It's just her the the the, the, the killing thing with the fucking ballerina is pretty brutal. It is pretty like here's the thing. Look. She's pretty great, but also that is pretty bad. <laughs> Objectively. But, but she, Subjectively. Hey, guy, we, if 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 she would have mommy. came back Sorry. at the mommy. night or whatever. Sorry, mommy. Uh what do you want? I mean, we like Again. her. 
I mean, there's a, I mean, there's a middle option there. If there you is a middle it, option, but... but that's so lame. Yeah. But what if that's what they want us to do, Pridge? Hey, man, let's say she's great. It's our playthrough. I'm not your real dad. You're right. Not, I'm not even. I'm not even pretending to be your fake dad. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's what I like about you, Pritch. Um, <laughs> she's got abs. She's great. I'd be lying <laughs> if I told you I wasn't already planning my Halloween costume based on her look. Oh, wow. strong, <laughs> honorable. She's a babe. What's not? Oh, okay. Like? Wow. Okay. Okay. Whoa. What the fuck did they find to compliment about the other guy, though? <laughs> is my He's... question. Yeah. So if you were me and you had uh -oh. the future well-being of the sprawl in your hands, who would you choose? Oh, well, between the two. Oh yeah, if it's just between the two of them, come it's on. Cardian, yeah, Thank yeah, that's not even honesty. close. I know my advisors have jerked you around, but I also know you who would ever choose the other guy. Yeah, what? Like that. Unless you're trying to you go for like hundred percent achievements or something. Okay. And you remind me of me too. If I was rich and beautiful and influential. <laughs> oh, you are influential. You've changed the course of fate more than you know. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget game. beautiful. I am also beautiful. Yeah, you did leave that part out, princess. Uh, <laughs> I was fishing for <laughs> you, a compliment on that one. Please you, give it to you me. You have that self-confidence, Lil. <laughs> you earned it. The sun's coming up. I must go. She didn't, she she didn't even acknowledge it. And do what's best for the kingdom. Oh. Oh no. Oh, now I feel like that's a bad idea. <laughs> well, Zach, we did it. Mm -hmm. Let the tree be governor. Come on. Okay, here we go. The read through. Although clearly a vampire, Count Heinrich von Pyre was also a registered chiropractor. Fake, oh, nice. fake career. With the private practice of his out, out, on the outskirts of the rapidly gentrifying little ogre town neighborhood, being compelled to count every grain in the bag of rice you gave him made Heinrich lose a whole night's worth of business. These mis these missed appointments led to a large number of negative reviews of his practice, which caught the attention of a local school teacher and leader of the Better Business Bureau, Mina Herkin. Is there a joke there, Myrna? Mina Harkin is the. Is the is the the reference who Drac oh. who, yeah, who Dracula uh, oh. first turned? It, it, it's, yeah. it's the girl. Thank it's you. the girl from Dracula. It's Thank the you. Yeah. It's the hey wait. It's the girl from uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Come on, oh, yeah. <laughs> best movie <laughs> ever. Yes, I'm sorry. How could you forget but, yeah, that? Most, most famous for being in the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, yeah. Well. Uh, the next night, she led an angry mob brandishing pitchforks and torches to his practice's door. Damn. Uh, so the third. That's a good point. Somebody said if we didn't pick, maybe <gasps> she would have gone with Beverly, and we don't want. I'd rather her be with fucking. Oh. I, I personally think that there's just gonna be more to her story than what we have here. Yeah, for sure. I, I don't think the decision we made is going to be the end of this. Yeah, so I, I hope so. But, hey. Everything else about I mean, this, this game is, so far has been this written is, this so is well. Far, this is as far. This is as far as I've gotten. So okay. that's not me. That's not me spoiling anything. That's me just honestly thinking. I'm pretty sure that's just not the end of her story. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe it was the light of the torches reflected in their eyes, but it just took one look for Myrna and the Count to fall madly in love. Or was it the fact that he is a powerful vampire? One of those things. The Count swooped down and lifted Myrna up out of the angry Jesus. mob. He bit her at least three times and made her drink his own blood to facilitate her own vampiric transformation. She left her gig at the Better Business Bureau, and the Count welcomed his new soon-to-be bride into his castle. Now, along with dealing with that pesky Van Helsing fellow who, who kept trying to kill him, Heinrich also had a wedding to plan. The afflicted man was saved from the transformative rays of the full moon, and... Nice. Even should he have transformed, the thick iron bars would have protected everyone. Although the good people of the Sprawl were safe from the wrath of this curse, the mourner was not spared the aggression of his fellow inmates. Cornering him in the cell, they shanked him with a handmade shiv, leaving oh, him no. there to bleed to death. Luckily, the shiv was whittled out of a silver spoon, miraculously curing him once and for all of the curse that the beast had attacked him years ago. Incredible. After a fortnight of recovery in the prison's infirmary, the mourner was released back into society. Unfortunately, on his journey back to Scarborough and the Shire of Besser Bessarion, uh, the, the mourner was attacked by a different werewolf and suddenly he's cursed again! Seems if that's... it wasn't for all that bad luck, this guy would have no luck at all. Damn, that's you, Jason. I know. <laughs> that's a werewolf to the end. 
Prince Phineas, Crown Prince Phineas Petrard Pomp stumbled back to his lavish lodgings at the palace. Hungry and drunk, he lit the fire and put on a pot of stew before passing out on the floor. He woke the next morning, having no memory of how he got home or why his room reeked of burnt stroganoff. But he did remember that rager of a party thrown in his honor by the Mages Guild, and the promises he made to them yeah, should be bad chosen, chance, bud. That he should be the chosen to marry Princess Desdemona. Bad chance. This Miss Abernathy was no Abernathy at all. In reality, it was a horrible shape-shifting monster. Running off into the night, the creature assumed a different identity and gained entry into the sprawl at another gate. Damn. Well, shit. Once inside the sprawl, it... Well, we lost track of it. Having the ability to take the form of anyone made it difficult to track, so its whereabouts remain unknown. It was reported later that night that an unusually untalkative guardsman Cecil was trying to break its way to the sprawl's armory, being denied entry, Guardsman Cecil apparently screamed in a high-pitched voice and ran off into the night. Be on the lookout for this creature. Could be anyone. The shapeshifter may return? <laughs> Tyronius Athanatos was able to meet with the Praetor Cargan that night. His promises of sharing the secrets of necromancy with the Marvog Empire were unfulfilled. If he had been successful, the Mage's Guild and its agendas would have been conveyed to the Mar Marvog Empire. Oh, yeah. And if that alliance was put into place and the Preacher was chosen for marriage by Princess Desdemona, who knows what nefarious plans would have unfolded. I feel like we made the right choice. Dejected, yeah. Tyronius was back, went back to went back to his keep outside the walls of the city and contrived another way to forge his allegiance with the Marvogians. He wasn't sure how, but he knew his next plan would have to be 100% Lil Gate Guard proof. So we might not see the last of him. Yes. Uh, With dreams yeah. of holding political office now man. planted in the scary tree monster's head, he stomped his way right to the city clerk's office at City Hall and waited for it to open. The next day, he obtained the necessary paperwork to run po for political office. Unfortunately, scary tree monster didn't know how to read or write. Revealing his illiteracy made the city clerk's receptionist laugh out loud, which angered scary tree monster so greatly he proceeded, he proceeded to, to thwomp her into oblivion. When the city clerk showed up finding no receptionist, they hired Scary Tree Monster to fill the spot of the role as their p political aide. Scary Tree Monster is now a small cog in the political machine and would no doubt rise in the ranks to one day hold the title of counselor, or dare we say, mayor. Here he goes. The story of Scary Tree Monster will continue. <laughs> when Princess Desdemona returned to the castle, she refused to answer any questions regarding her whereabouts. She immediately issued a royal decree to cut funding to any active rescue missions and put an end to the antiquated practice of choosing recruiters via flashy game shows. As she lay in bed that night, she reflected on the little guardsman's advice. She knew that her decision would irreversibly alter the fate of the sprawl and the fate of every soul who called it home pretty serious okay and although the princess has come oh, home she is still remaining that. quiet on where she was during her missing time but frankly Damn i do it, not she... care she's got that look at me i'm back attitude and it reflects in her oh, style <laughs> you know it she was seen returning to the castle rocking those possibly with cadet leggings all while sporting a i might have just run away and ran out of money <laughs> hooded cloak what do you think she's gonna be wearing at the wedding? That's so good. No idea, but no doubt it will compliment her chosen spouse's home kingdom. That's right. Princess Desdemona has finally made her choice. Oh, it's Praetor Cargan of the Marvel. Okay. Empire. Oh wow. Okay. This is this just happened I so knew fast. It was gonna be them. Well, they it might. It was the obvious choice from the get go. So obviously obvious. So, so long, Prince Phineas Pomp of the Petrard Kingdom. You just didn't make the cut. Well, he was, he was awful, but... Bye! Yeah. He was awful! Bye-bye. <laughs> See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Okay. Bye! <laughs> bye! Bye-bye. <laughs> you you, you can just stop this loop? It's so good. It's really funny. <laughs> um, so, she made her choice. Yeah. Her life is filled with intrigue, and I feel like I am now somehow intertwined with her fate's path. Oh well, off to go see what the gang's up to. Oh yeah, sure. Are we not working day shift again? Um, we got. Here's the, here's the thing. Yeah, we I are know. two and a half it's... hours in. Bridge has work in the morning. I don't want to force us to play another hour. Yeah, we keep going. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I have, work, I have work in the morning. I'm just fine. Shut the fuck There's up. There's a note from Dad. I do have work in the morning. You, you have you have very early work in the morning, but you don't count. 
You're gonna stay up till 4 a.m. anyways, so. Maybe. I have to run still tonight. <laughs> oh my. J Jason, what the literal fuck? Yeah. Uh, dear Lil, here's some excuse why I can't wear the guard shed today. Love, Dad. Damn. Back to the guard shed for me. Wait a minute. Where's the chronometer? I always leave <sighs> it right here. Uh oh. Oh no. Not in or on. It's not in there. I have there a bad it feeling. What's what it doing fuck? under the bed? I thought Dad Spooky. pawned it. I, I don't remember putting it there. Wait, what time is it? I don't want to be late. For a time machine, you'd think they could have at least put a clock on it somewhere. It's pretty funny. Well, thankfully, there's a thing that says it's six. Bye! Mm. Okay. I didn't mean to turn it back on, but that's really funny <laughs> that you can. <laughs> Head's gonna pay off that we have in the bag still. <laughs> just wait for it. Yeah, just, just wait. Oh, just wait. Oh, oh. Never has been a disgrace, not only oh. to Prince Phineas and myself, but to the entire history of Petrod. King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk will not sit idly by while their royal lineage is dragged through the mud. I want it to be a sarcastic cheer up, but I don't know if it's a. Whatever. Well, you know what they say. You win some, you lose some. Oh, nice. All's fair in love and war. Other cliche sayings. Keep your chin up, Prince Phineas. You'll find someone. Say what you will. Your words and your sweet-smelling city will soon be drowned out by the musk of the sulfur mines of Petrad. May your home be exploded by a bottle of fine Petradian fizzy. Well, that's not great. We have like a million barbarians to okay. defend ourselves now. Uh, excerpt from a Petrardian book of etiquette and manual of politeness. There is a general distaste for non-humans at Petrard. However, any formal event is elevated by the presence of elves. Delicate uh, beauty okay. rules the day when it comes to the meal. Remember this golden rule. Even in the face of total catastrophe, dignity, always dignity. Excerpt from a Wedding Survivor's Guide to the Marvog Empire. This guest senses were assaulted at one of their week-long wedding battles. Admiration was heaped upon people around me wearing war paint. The more hardcore, the better. The smell of meat and blood hung in the air. Their approach to food was utilitarian. It was treated mostly as an afterthought. <sighs> okay, what are we supposed to gain from that? Holy shit. $40 fucking fine for admitting a goblin, though. Oh, oh wow. Jeez, little Pete's. It's gonna be like it's gonna be a goblin that like really helps us maybe too yeah. or something like if we Uh the wedding is almost upon us. He uh, have your eyes open vendors, for vendors yeah. and artisans making their oh, way into the sprawl for the big event. I'll be in my office if you need me, Ash, okay. Artisans <laughs> and vendors. Uh and the Wakan Wakandan they, they can't actually call the Wakandan prince. I sent all my banking information to. Finally came through with my share of the gold. Call me if you're in a pinch. Rich friends and gold, Malcolm. Rich in friends and gold, Malcolm. <sighs> Damn it, that's really funny. What kind of friends scam? Get some uh, every time. Yeah. Uh, so I'm assuming the top two are like depending on which ones, which person you pick. And if if that we were having a Petrardian wedding, we yeah. would let elves in. But what the fuck are we supposed to take from the second one? The guests uh, wearing assaulted. war paint? Yeah, like if there's like a, I guess, barbarian yeah. looking guy. Yeah, yeah, okay. there's, yeah, there's a barbarian guest coming. You got one. Okay, okay. Yeah. So don't let elves in though? Because it's non, it's a non uh, humans or. Yeah. Unfortunately, but. Oh, we didn't even get I to mean, upgrade our gear last time, did we? Yeah, we didn't get to upgrade, no. I guess that's why they gave us a shit ton of money. Uh, please? There we are. Yeah. Did you put real in all? Except for whip, I had one fake. Okay. How many people do you have? How many, how many guests do we have? Uh, we'll find out. Oh, you will find out. I didn't, I didn't know if it told you. Ahead. Yeah, I kind of wish it. They don't tell you. Uh, Seven. Oof. My Oof. God. That's a lot oh right God, it's this guy. The host, right? Yep. Hello, Will. He killed a guy. What? No more sparkly suit? <laughs> he did kill a guy. It was a rental. <laughs> Besides, today I'm here in a different capacity oh, no. to help coordinate the royal wedding. Oh, he's a you fucking... You have a lot of jobs, it, Mike. In. And wedding planning is my least favorite out of all of them. 
Tell you what, why don't you be the wedding planner for the day? Okay. What do you think? I think it's very irresponsible to get a 12-year-old girl to do two grown men's separate jobs. Damn. That's true. All you have to do is choose the music, decorations, and food menu for the big event. It's so oh, cool. Just let in the like the best. So we're going to be using those things in the board to plan oh. the wedding. That's, that's fucking cool. awesome, actually. Really that's like best. Okay. Like, I'm sure it's not really going to affect anything. Or it might. See, it's simple. <laughs> do you want oh. me to explain it again? Okay. Uh, okay. If you would, I, I yes. Think, well, I won't. The only thing I hate more than wedding planning <laughs> is talking about wedding planning. Well, you got up, fucking just see. destroyed yeah, really there, though. Yeah, yeah. it. The wedding musicians will be coming by for you to choose first. Here's the gold. Yeah. See you later, Lil. Holy shit. Oh my shit. god. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa, this gig pays great. Well, I assume the we can use our own money you. a little bit, too. There's three choices for music, yeah. food, and decor, and each comes with its own price tag. Yeah, the we can probably get the, the top budget notch. for the wedding. Uh-oh. Uh, my game froze? Uh, yeah. my game froze? Uh, hello? <laughs> I can hear you still. Oh, hello? Hello? it froze. Yep. Uh, well... Uh, it just you start it in, try to fast forward through it. It's fine. Yeah, it won't take long. Can I keep it? What if I don't choose hey, anybody? Hey, do hey if you're a director of a money? movie, do not give yourself yeah, you have the most important somebody. dialogue of the movie. And the cheapest options don't do that. might not make might people happy. On. But if there's money left over, you get to keep it. Which he did in science. I see. He did. He did have the very important expositional line. Which is yeah. so dumb. He also makes himself the writer who will change the world in Lady in the Water. Why would he do that? Because That's he's a he huge, is. he's a huge egotist. He's such yeah. a fucking no, no. You ego. don't get it. It's he's so good at writing plot twists. It's oh my god. <laughs> what's the what's that, the one with the, the, the guy? I do but... like the the one with the 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 plants are making the people happening. kill people. The happening. The happening. Yeah. yeah. Only famous but because it has the lawnmower budget, fucking scene. It'll have to come out of your <laughs> Only famous because Mark pocket. Wahlberg is does a terrible yeah. job in it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, Mark Wahlberg. It's does so that in her tremendous. It's... Yeah, but like, there's movies where he's well cast you're right, as a you're fucking right. idiot. Yeah, yeah he's supposed to be. Yeah. A, he's a science teacher, and he oh. doesn't pull it off even in <laughs> the slightest. Yeah. Hey, come on. I see. He's, he owns wall burgers. Come on, man. And I've heard that it's very good. But that doesn't so that's that's he can't play a biology runs. professor. Or to two folks twice, you get the idea. Okay. Need that run Wait, by you one that? more time. Oh, shit, that was actually important. Yes. Well, too bad. No! I already told you. I... Remember, you do the choosing. I'll be here. Okay, okay well, it's no biggie. Just choose the three most important elements of any wedding and try food, not to stress that entertainment, it's a royal what's the third? One. You got it was this. Food, decoration, oh, and it was decoration. Oh, yeah. decoration. Okay. Oh, it's a huge tractor, sorry. It's something that the guy runs himself over with, yeah. Oh, Holy shit. Okay. okay. We got to get the guy in front, right? Come on, the weird owl guy? That actually might be a Weird Al parody. It is 100% a Weird Al. 100% yeah. Weird Al. Um, Remember, we are trying to do a Mavarg wedding. Yeah. yeah. The uh, guest uh, is resulted by their week-long wedding battles. Admiration was heaped upon the people around me wearing war paint. The more hardcore, the better. The smell of meat and blood hung in the air. Okay, the so it's the heavy metal guy then. Yeah, it's got to be the he's heavy wearing, metal He's wearing guy. the kiss dude. Yeah. Uh, well... Vlad Extreme here, mate. Oh I shit! Well, it is it's Vlad Extreme. Is the baddest, metalist bad boy of death metal playing some skint royal wedding? Well, I ain't here just to collect a big paycheck, mate. I'm here to stick it to the bourgeoisie and not take any of their <laughs> crap, mate. I mean, yeah. Rock this... and roll all life long. But is he basically a Kiss guy and Ozzy Osbourne? I think like, so. It feels yeah. like too. Yeah, he's like several different. Heavy metal. Oh, we get cliches four options. Uh, well, let's. We gotta talk to Weird Al. Hello, young lady. The oh name my. Is Jacob Fiddlestein, and me and my accordion here play all the polka conga you kids yep, are so okay. crazy about these days. He begins to sing. A one and two and polka conga two and three and polka conga three and one and polka conga. Hey. 
Hoy! I nearly winded myself there. That was funny. I really want that guy, but we're not gonna. Yeah, him. I mean, what's we gotta her, pick what's her up. Well, let's, let's talk to her. Hello. Hi. Hello. My name is okay. Suzette Courgette, and I sing um, with my voice. I do the slow songs and the nice okay. songs. Who's that? Some of the ones you know. Okay, I mean, well, she's an elf, so that's who, so that's who you would have Oh, it is an elf, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, so you're you absolutely right. Oh, that's that's who you can't you would pick Weird Al? Weird Al's not wanted by anybody? That's who you would have picked for a Praetor yeah. wedding? Oh, yeah. That's... Well. I mean, we know the right choice. Yeah. I just want, As I, I it wish... turns out, I left my amplifier on the bus, mate. It must be sitting there right next to all my awards and trophies, oh, mate. Oh, come on. So let's cut the fuss and let me through, right? Because as we all know, everybody likes the sound of what Daddy Vladdy is putting down. I hate that. Extreme. Hated that. Daddy Extreme. Vladdy. Okay. Have you made up your mind? Yeah. yeah. Wait, do they have different prices? Oh, they do. No. Oh, that's why. It's right. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, but hey, he's the right guy. Yeah, he is. He is. That's probably why, because, yeah, I mean. Yes. Yeah, we gotta do it. Extreme. Hopefully, hopefully the decorations are on the hundred side. Extreme. Good choice, maybe. I'll write this down and be back when the next group turns up. Damn. See ya, kid. Who? This is the well, fucking magician. Oh, it's the magician. magician. <laughs> but he's so the Pope now. Entertain? Where are you pulling the rabbit out of now? <laughs> it's Edward the Pope. I'm afraid I've the got days Pope. of magic and illusions behind me. Oh my God. You got kicked out of the magician's union, didn't you? Oh no. Yes, I did. Seems people preferred the actual dark arts to my light entertainment. No matter though. I've got a new career now. Yeah, it sucks the idea of trying to be a magician in a world where people could actually do <laughs> magic. You can do actual magic! <laughs> Working at your parents' garden shop? They wish. I'm a wedding officiant. Okay. I'm here to officiate the royal he's wedding. He's technically entertainment. Really? Or not the... You, or he's, oh, technically. He's, uh, he's, he's technically you the officiant. I am. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> uh. You All also right, don't so have your glasses did, again. What else did the writ say? Is anything yeah, else helpful there? It's, it, it said something about the if they're um, no goblins. Yeah. Uh, oh, vendors artisans. and artisans. No, he's not that. No. Uh, Malcolm has a bunch of gold for the fake <laughs> prince. Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to scan him or whip him for the glasses again? I think we should. Um, <laughs> Just whip him some more. Yeah, use the, use yeah, the use our, crystal. Use our <laughs> shitty crystal. Come on. Hey! Oh my god! Wow. Yeah, look at that! <laughs> my glasses! They fell right out of my robe pocket. Maybe I need to find a better spot to keep them so they don't break. I would Shit, say yes. Broke. Sounds good. Just whatever you do, don't put them in your boot again. My boot, you say? No, no, of course I won't do that again. Or will I? <laughs> you gotta oh my work God. On that inner monologue. The Edward, what are you doing? You wanna you wanna buff him up a little bit more? Yeah, or? we gotta talk to him. So it's the Edward, the wedding officiant now, is it? Of course it isn't. Do you know how ridiculous it was for me to have the Edward the Magician as my name? Yes. It was so He's redundant. learning. Okay. I can't believe nobody ever told me. Two of these? I must have looked like an idiot. Okay. Well, that's not the wow, reason why. Okay. But... Well, when you he is learning, though. Way. So now it's just Edward the official officiant with only one the. Thank you very much. That's bad. Still, still redundant. Yeah. Hey, the Los Angeles Angels. Um, the... It's here? The Angel Angels. The Angels Angels. The Ohio State University. Having official and yeah. officiant is also redundant. It is? Why didn't anyone ever tell me that? Okay. I'm telling okay. you now. What nice. am I going to do about my 5,000 brand new business cards? Oh. Ooh. Can't you cancel the printing? I did them by hand. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Fuck. I think we have to let him in, right? Yeah. He's got his glasses. He's got 
We told him the best we can. Uh, I mean, we, we have an extra thing. We could call Malcolm right now and get our cash advancement. For what? Oh, we're gonna need all the money we can get to pay for the rest of this. I'm money. just saying, I'm just saying for like what what what's what is he giving the the money for? Uh, because he just got a bunch of money. <laughs> no, he says it's finally come through. Oh. No. It's the. I mean. And does that mean he uh, has the money or? No, no, no. It's no, a fake. No, it's no, the Nigerian no. prince scam, Zach. No, no, but I, but I thought the joke was that he actually got the money from it. But no, he has not got the money yet. He just sent his banking yeah. information, so he's about to be really broke. Yeah. But maybe we can call him and get more money. Um. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I don't know. What a, what a man, dude. Edward. In a pinch, he did say in a pinch. That's true, if we're out of money. Edward, the official officiant, I hereby grant you access He's to the in. sprawl to officially officiate he did get the, the money? royal oh, okay. wedding. Well, technically, I haven't been hired yet, so here's hoping I get God the job. Thanks again, friend. Fuck, we should have talked to him We're more. not friends. Oh my God, are Edward and I friends? No. You're safe. <laughs> uh, damn it. That hurts. That hurts. Oh, he's not going to. There's very little information. He's not going to cock it up. Maybe there was a way to help him. Oh, uh, probably. Fuck. Yeah. Damn it. I wonder, I, someone, I don't... I wonder if there's someone you could call. Hello yeah. there. I'm back. I the problem is, I wouldn't want to redo that today. because the I whip was a chance. I don't have to tell you how important the interior yeah. decorations and overall That's true. aesthetic of a wedding can be. I don't have to tell you because I refuse to tell you. Anyways, here they are. Take your shot. No goblins, no, no matter what. No, our guy. Yeah, but no goblins, no matter what. I know. Also, that girl who helped us name the stadium. Yep. I mean, who's I got... the girl? In... Yo, the girl in the fucking back. I the feel elf. Like that's a reference to what's her face. Uh, that's gotta be yeah. I think it's like Coco Chanel or a Louis Vuitton or some sort it's, of yeah, it's, like it's the woman, Gucci, the woman who. House of Gucci. Oh, Devil Wears Prada. Yeah, it's the uh, woman. Yeah, the yeah. woman that Devil Wears Prada is based off of. That's Somebody right, in the chat are. will tell us. You're on percent correct. That's who it is. Hello, I've got some grand ideas, you know, for how the royal wedding should be. Huh? You might not know it, but I read all the latest wedding magazines down at the salon when I'm getting the old do done. And apparently what's in these days is meat. We can't get the goblin in. We'll fucking Big move. bold slabs of meat on no, the No, well, the goblin was for a crater was for a crater wedding, so though. So they didn't want uh, they didn't want not humans. No, they, the Cargans didn't mention mm. anything about that. Yeah, but Stryker said no goblins we guaranteed. Oh, oh, that's right. 40, 40, that's yeah, right. That's $40 problem. fine it's for 40 any goblins. It's 40 gold, which is... He's also just yeah. saying a bunch of meat, which actually Yes, meat right. on the wall. That's well, that's yeah. what Praetors would okay, like. Yeah, yep. that's the Praetors want. And, and remember, it's the elf Lemai, for that person. That's why, yeah. Only the editor of the biggest wedding magazine in circulation right yeah. now. There's no one else who can do the royal wedding justice, darling. Surely you've seen my work. Just don't look in last year's issue, darling. I went on a real tangent about slaughterhouses one night, and my team printed everything I said. Blame uh, the quaaludes. <laughs> print the quaaludes. We'll do something I know. daring and bold, darling. She's gonna be really Can expensive. You feel it? Yeah. Oh, good thing we're not using her then. Yeah. Talk to the goblin. Let's uh, fuck I got it. She Hello again, mum. Thought I'd see my uh, way down to do some decorating for the royal wedding. Ain't much of a decorating for a Random. I got my cerulean blue, blood red, and cadmium <gasps> green with me. Ooh. So I'd go do something with them, I suppose. What? They love blood red. But they yeah, but also they also love, love meat. meat. I feel like he's but gonna be is, the cheap option. But this option. is decorating and not food. I, go to go to the thing. Go to the thing. Uh, yeah, the smell me... of meat and blood. The okay. smell of meat and blood hogging me. Okay. Air. Okay. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I mean, he's gonna be the cheap option again. It just doesn't want you to. Yeah. You're gonna the 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 the, the trick is gonna be that you can't buy all of the expensive options, but mm -hmm. hopefully gonna use. But Malcolm. you wouldn't even. But again, you put sounds like you wouldn't even want to. Right, but. Uh, that's true too. If you buy an expensive plus a medium, can you afford a expensive, a third one? Mm. We'll see. Yeah, it depends on what. It depends on these. Are yeah, the it depends same on the cost. price. Yeah. yeah, these are the yeah. same cost breakdowns. We had yeah. we had three fifty. We used one fifty. We have two hundred left. Right, and I think she's gonna cost like one, one hundred guaranteed. 
we get to keep we'll this see, item? I guess. No, okay. Well, okay. Have you made up your mind? We're we're gonna pick the middle girl. Yeah. Yeah. So she's gonna be a hundred. So we have a hundred left. Yeah, at least a hundred left. So as long Edith, as we don't choose Edith the... Tinselton. But I'm worried. I think I know what's gonna happen. I think both final options are gonna be one fifty, and the I, that's my guess. So they screw you or we'll try see, to. We'll see. We'll see. I, that's my guess. That's, that's my guess. That's the sweet smell of my successful design ideas. Which was she did. She did all right. She did all right at the stadium meat. too. Yeah. The whatever the exciting ditch of stone. Shea, of, of I'll write this down and food. be back with the next group. See ya, kid. Hey, if we need money though, we can call Malcolm because we're out of money. Yep. We hope. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, he's oh, back. Oh, oh, it's up to your slide hands. Hand. Hand. A contestant you did not yeah, find that's... worthy on the He's still alive, show, though. So you think you can save a princess? This is cool because this means, depending on your options, you would get one of the oh, other yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Like the other guys, yeah. Be dead. Stung. In any case, I have a message to deliver to the High Council of the Mages Guild. So okay. if there's nothing else, I will be on my way. Um... I'm trying to remember if there's something specific about this. I don't think nothing so. Nothing about Goblin. Ven oh. Vengers and Artisans... He's not an artisan, is he? No. No. Uh, I think he is an elf, which would have been nice for the Praetors, but... I mean, he's not necessarily here for the wedding. Yeah. yeah. He might... Ooh, he might actually not be here for that. What he's saying. True serum? Yeah, this might be a true serum moment. He might be salty because we didn't pick him. Yeah. Good call. He might Get try him. to abduct Fuck the princess. Him. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that true serum, this guy. Do, do it right now. Fuck it. <coughs> Did you just truth spray me? Oh. Oh. Um. Yeah. Did it work? Oh fuck! Elves are, are elves are resistant uh, to charm. Yeah. I have right. been telling you the truth. Jeez, you're real suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> this whole job. Well, I'm delivering this message. Oh, it's gonna Aren't be fucking you? decode. Now Fuck. that I think of it, the fact that this message is so heavily coded is Oh, okay, well, unusual. yeah. <laughs> oh! I'm no. a guild member in good standing, but things have been Different trending talk, that way right, ever right, since bad, King Oswin died. It's like everyone started breaking off into different factions. It's hard to tell who is That's steering brutal. the ship, you know what I mean? Mm. God damn it. Okay, okay. Well, we gotta decode. Yeah. Oh. Hey, to burn can two I see crystals. the letter you're delivering? Incredible! Let me see. Wait. What? No. This cannot be true. These renegade mages are more deeply embedded than I thought! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, intrigue! Dear child, thank you for saving me from myself. Oh my, okay! And work to We're gonna the get him to the end game. Within the guild, dark days lie ahead. Be careful, your name was also mentioned in the letter. What did the letter say? Oh god, tell us what it said! Oh my god, it played what? like evil music too? Okay, well, we burned a crystal. Oh, if you want okay, to do... well, we got the force. If you want to rewind like... and get the crystal back, you theoretically could. That's ominous, though. That's up to you. I want to see if we can talk to him and just get the. Get the same the, thing the, we got the, with the Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, you, don't, you don't have to use the truth spray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe he, maybe he just immediately mentions the letter. He'll probably break yeah. the letter, yeah. He did say he wasn't lying, so yeah. I guess he isn't yeah. hiding that he's delivering a letter. Yeah. I hope not. I'll feel really bummed if we... Well, but, but, but no, he still said, like, it's getting harder and harder to do things with coded, so just try yeah. it anyway, hey, see what happens. See the oh, okay. nice. No, he did. You're right. Okay, yeah. Nice. That's big. That's that's money. Yeah. That's fine money right there. That's thirty dollars. Incredible. Yeah. That's basically like I'm putting a, admitting a goblin. <laughs> Boom. Nice, nice, nice. That's worth. Hello, worth. All right, okay. kid, last guys. You feel it? We're Let's go. I'm excited. Done. This is the one fifty each and a fifty dollar guy. A wedding planner. I, for one, cannot wait to Calling be finished. It. Just hurry up and pick the food option for the wedding so we can get out of this here. This guy feels like a character from a Jackbox game. He does. He's cookie He does get a good Jackbox voice. Mm-hmm. 
And face. And office space. Oh, <laughs> my gosh, she's back. Yo, it's Kelly! Yeah, it's, it's her, yeah. Wait, what? I think Kelly, the, no, Kelly was the, was the- It's the mom. The new it's wife, the wasn't she? No. Oh. Oh my gosh, Kelly was the, the husband's the new, new wife. It's yeah. the new wife, yeah. Oh my god. The one that was terrible. Yeah. That yeah. was literally abusive can't... to the kids. Because the kids, well, I didn't say that. They just said yeah. that she was the nightmare or a nightmore. Monty's yeah. has the soup. She works at Monty's. Oh my God! Yeah. They they went they went to Mon it's like they went to Jared's. And they went to Monty's. Also, Monty's, Monty's has the soup. Monty's has the soup. That's all yeah. I'm allowed to say. Okay. All right. The soup. That's gonna be the Check cheap him. option, which is really good afternoon. Yeah. I am here today representing Catering Corp regarding a contract to provide the sustenance for the large guy gathering the known as the Royal Wedding. This guy has the personality of soup. Catering Corp is willing to provide the base yeah, amount of true. calories needed to sustain such a high capacity oh. event in return for appropriate Yeah, That's yeah. actually the right answer. Well, yeah, there's... I am accompanied by samples of our food and a detailed list of ingredients available yeah, upon I mean... request. <sighs> Why so? Because the... the... Praetor wedding is food is an afterthought. This guy's like, oh, we'll give you the food uh, to okay. be yeah. enough yeah, calories yeah, as you I get. Utilitarian, yeah. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Francois Saint -Francais. Yeah, this guy. This is obviously the super expensive one. Yeah. His name is Francois Saint Francis. Royal couple and their guests. So, so he's the head waiter at Le Chez de la Maison, <laughs> the house of the house. <laughs> so our our dream would be the guy in the middle is worth only a hundred, right? Yeah, it's the same breakdown. This only this guy's one fifty. Yeah, my prediction was they were going to try to screw you by giving you one hundred fifty. Oh, yeah. Now we might get lucky and if the guy's a hundred, that's, you know that's exactly what we're given. Into, no matter no how extra, hard but shishi pom pom. This is the guy you'd burn a hundred. Well, actually, that'd be wow, that'd be hard to do. Yeah. Man, the Praetor wedding would be much harder to do because you'd want the one fifty, the one fifty, and the yeah, one hundred. Really yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you'd want two one fifties and a hundred if you did the Praetor wedding. I want to talk to Ket. Wait. Oh, we can't. We can't pull up the menu. Can't use, Damn can't it. Use anything, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who do we want to talk to one more time? I mean, I want to talk, talk to Kelly. Kelly again. Yeah, talk to Kelly. Maybe the, the funniest cause. Menu. Spoiler, it's soup. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we got a free menu, though. Another free menu. Appetizer soup, entree soup. Hey, what's the Monty's? Soup. Bridge, you love dessert soup. Cream soup. Let's go. <laughs> Have you made up your mind? Please, please, please. Okay. Well, Monty's is the cheap, but it's Catering Corp, right? Like, yeah. That's the one that's going to give us the bare amount that we yep. want. Yeah. Look at that. We budgeted perfectly. Yeah. No bonus, but- We look but... forward to satisfying our contractual obligation. <laughs> yeah. Thank God this nightmare of a job is over. All the rest of you go home. Good choosing, kid. Well, at least oh, I hope Kelly. it's good. I wouldn't she's want to be the one kids responsible to feed. for messing up something like a royal wedding. Anyways, goodbye. It's your job. No, it was, a, it was our job. Yeah. Wow. We made it our job. He's coming. Oh no! I am a citizen of the sprawl. I yeah, have nothing to declare on my person, and I demand to be allowed entry. Do you want to? Do you want to X-ray him, or? I mean, I want to talk to him first. Okay. Figure out if we're I gonna eat no this forty. I have no further statement to make beyond the following. I am a citizen yeah, of the I mean, sprawl. Okay, it's, this, it's making fun of this guy's a political activist. activist. And I demand to it's be making fun entry. of the uh, the traveler, whatever they're fucking called. Uh, the traveler. I forget what they're called. I don't know. There's a specific name for it. I'm gonna see if I can get something more out of them. How do I somebody, know? Somebody would know what I'm talking about. Person. You're you're not like How you're not you're not driving a car. You're traveling or something matter. like that. If you want to search me, go ahead. I have nothing to declare on my person, no and I am a citizen of the sprawl. I solemnly I declare that the information yeah. I have provided is true. That it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath, and that it was freely given. Part of me wants to call Malcolm and see if we can get that money. <laughs> and then let him in. I do it.
It's sovereign citizens. Yeah, sovereign citizens. Oh, yeah. sovereign, sovereign citizens. And another yeah. equally hard rock. Sovereign citizens. Yeah, sorry. I'll take care of the too. fine if you let him in. <gasps> I just gotta see what the GLA has planned. Yes. Okay. Oh, I mean. Wow. Also, the, you know about the Goblins Liberation Army? Yeah. Do you know I... about the GLA? Of course I do. Founding member. What? Well, not oh. really. But of course I know it. <laughs> I don't just sit down here reading and writing Yelp reviews for Monty. Yelp Although reviews. Although I do that a lot too. <laughs> Five star review. They do have the soup. You'll pay if I let him in? Bingo. Let me just find my wallet. Um, Dang. we didn't get the we money, wanna, but do we want to get the scan or no? Are we just trusting it, and do you think that's gonna be the win? He, I don't mind letting us. him in. Could also true spray. Actually, we we used one bad and one good, so we have another free one to, to burn. You think true spray? I think I'd rather I'd rather scan or metal detector him or something. Uh, if he's if uh, one, he's very tiny. Not that that stopped this game before. Yeah, I but know. he did say he was open to a search. Oh, okay. So I feel like getting a truth spray is more. That's fine. I think we might have already gotten the ribbon, but we'll see. We'll see. I have nothing to declare on my person, Damn, and he's I good. am a citizen of the sprawl. I solemnly declare yeah, that. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that also tells you that they're, the, the Axe Cry probably wouldn't have done anything either, though, because he just said under the truth yeah. that he has True, nothing but... on his person. All right, so it well, doesn't really matter what you used. Assuming Malcolm gives us our money back. Watch, well, she screwed us, though. Can you use the truth serum on Malcolm through the phone? <laughs> you should come by the Goblin Liberation Army. Oh, my God. Sometime. Here's the password. Come. It will open your eyes to what's happening in the sprawl. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. We're going to be part of the underground movement, baby. Oh, uh, we can, yeah. Yes! Nice. Oh, oh, shit. Nice. What the fuck? The draconian speciesist rule. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> we fucking crushed it. The only thing you could technically do is probably not even use the truth serum, but you can. We, can we probably didn't need. Yeah, we probably didn't need to use the truth serum. Uh oh. Ooh. Where's Hamish? I, I really don't have time for. Uh, say, you there, little girl. I, I need to get to the other side of the sprawl without delay. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I need you to listen to me. This is time sensitive. I know you got your instructions, but it's important that I get going quickly. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 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 she, she knew knows her Hamish. Dad. Yeah. She has a giant thing I'd love to see. I know. I know. <sighs> Is it my my gut instinct is to fucking scan always, but <sighs> let me talk. It's I mean, listen. It's this is the final one. This is an easy rewind. Uh, That's fair. I swear, someone was supposed to give you guys a heads up that I was coming. Let me spell it out for you. Okay. Oh, that, that is that is a artisan or whatever. My parents said, "Oh never yeah, make a living out oh, of Ash. They were right. Until the royal wedding, that is. This and she's got ice underneath the bag. Break. That's what it is. I got yep. the ice. I sculpted it. Now I have to deliver it. It's hot out. Just let me through uh, so I can prove my parents wrong. Call call Ash though. Trust call Ash. Let her through. Sounds like you're under a lot of pressure. I'll she try just to said, get you on your way. She just said it's times Thank of the you. essence though. I know, but I'm worried that in the battle for my parents approval. It's an artisan. Damn. So. Damn, that's good. Uh, you're look, right, Bridge. I think. Thing? Uh. I'll be in my office if you need me. Right? I think we. I think you call her. At worst, we 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 put her in through faster. We should have been able to tell by the apron she might have been an artisan and called Ash on the first one. But I would try calling Ash. Mm. All right, I'm gonna do it. Haven't you, Gate God, seen a whole bunch of wedding vendors? Oh today? my God! Sounds like everything checks out. Why are you calling me with this? Hear that? Final. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think I'm in. I I'm thought it through and see what. I think we're not gonna get it now. That's my bad. I thought for sure. Right, it right, been. Listen, I'll rewind this. I, I, this is a no problem. Rewind. I mean, thank you, but my work is probably ruined. Yeah. <sighs> okay, now I feel bad. I mean, 
No letter in sculpture is unrecognizable. It's modern yeah. art. I'm sure this gets <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah I got just... I gotta help her get her parents' approval. <sighs> Fuck it. Don't even ask a single question. No, nope. just uh, trust implicitly. I can't thank you enough. I'm sorry for coming in hot. Weddings are the worst. If you can get close enough, take a look at my sculpture. I'll throw something in there just for you. Gotta oh, go. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Little little guardsman in there. Look nice. at that, oh, baby. Okay. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's that's how you do it. I feel like that's one that helps just having to rewind immediately, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's the last one, so you can mess it up and just try it again. Okay, we got a letter. Oh. Your choices for Prater Cargan's wedding have been deemed acceptable. Accept this gold as a token of thanks for honoring that... our ways. Kapla. I if that's... Kapla. Yeah, I wonder if that was like good, good, that's... or just acceptable. Yeah. I mean, it might just be the way they talk. That I mean, I. Uh... Yeah. The only the only thing I I mean. We could have done the I feel like we. I feel, yeah. Or if we did want the blood color thing. I don't know. I feel like we followed it about as closely as we could. Yeah. Holy shit! We still have so much money. Yeah, you're rich as hell. Yeah, yeah maybe. The maybe only that one we is fucked the, up was Edward. Maybe that is the weakness. Is you have to admit a goblin to get their their blood red. That would make sense. Well, we did to, technically yeah. admit this goblin. Right, but we got our fine paid yeah. for. Maybe that is the, maybe that is like the weakness of the Praetor one because the other ones obviously is too much uh -oh. money. Um, what? Not good. What the fuck? I have a very bad feeling about this. Salve il cuore, regno mio grata. Oh, okay. Oh, cool! Like... It's sainted. Yeah. Uh... I need to get oh, hi, Satan. Oh, hi, Satan. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. How's your sex life? <laughs> I did not hit her. <laughs> think, Lil. Think. I knew Latin a little bit. Uh, can we get to the time thing in our bag? Oh, I think we can. Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah. 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 Wait, wait, wait. It's something after the, whatchamacallit, ceremony. You can access your time thing in your bag. No, there's no, there's no charges. Oh, decoder ring the Latin, that would have been a good choice. We don't have a ring, we don't have a charge. Oh. What was that? That was next level. Freak out hardcore. That was terrifying and also incredible. What? Where was I just? Uh oh. Then? Was that a demon? I've never seen anything like that before. Nobody's ever going to believe me. Uh oh. I'm going to go down to the dig site to throw this stupid time machine down a deep no. hole. Okay, Lil, get it together. You can still do this. Now, do we want to stop here because it's 10.50? Oh, shit. I, I didn't even click. Uh, oh, okay. Then never mind. Yeah. So we can have this conversation I'm still then not stop. even moving. That's fine. We can have this conversation then You've stop. You've got to take it back. Shit got too real with your chronometer 3000 thing today. I don't want it anymore. I love it when they have little curse. Hi, B. So nice to see you, B. Your paper in the Journal of Dwarven Medicine was a revelation, B. Well, yeah, excuse I just saw me, but I was just pulled into <laughs> just what I'm guessing was a Satan. parallel dimension and was almost murdered by a demon. Hmm, how unfortunate. I always wondered what the byproduct of St. Bartholomew Inglebrook's lunar incantation would have on the relationship between time and interplanar folding. God damn it. Stop it. I don't care about any of that. Just take it back. I'm sorry, I truly am, but we've come too far. I'm sorry I've been absent, but I've been watching, and the readings I've been receiving have been very promising. I don't care. But you would care if everything and everyone you knew and loved was at risk. Wait, what? <laughs> everything might seem like we're in a storybook, but open your eyes. 
We're on the verge of a civil war from inside the walls. And if you hadn't heard, the princess just pissed off some very powerful people. Yeah, I'm aware. It is in your best interest to continue to help me with the device. Because who knows when we will need to rewind time and un something more important than which nobody you chose to send to the dungeon today. Damn. And you're here. Wow. After allegedly going toe to toe with an interplanar demon. I trust you. I think he prefers the term Satan. Yeah, I mean, I guess except. Damn, I wish I would have whipped Satan. Cause it it I let me keep doing this forever. Yeah, you were right. Else yeah. are gonna owe me a childhood, you know? Keep helping me with the chronometer three thousand, and we can see about making that happen for you. Why does it feel like Bia is also in on the conspiracy of being bad? <laughs> that veteran guard says he prefers the term Typhulu. Uh Oh sh fuck! We can go to the GLA. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to save, man. I don't know how. Can we save? When can we save? Uh. Is that that GLA one might be a. Uh... Yeah. It, I don't... So it 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 did auto save right before we went to the uh... dig site. No, it didn't. We had to go through the morning, didn't we? No, I saw the I saw the save icon. Oh, oh, after, okay, 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 okay. Before we went to the dig site. Okay, okay. Well, then yeah, I think this is a fine stopping spot. Yeah, just because this could... That, I, I don't know how long this is going to be. That's true, that's true. Uh, and hey, this place looks awesome. So folks, be excited for the GLA uh, next time. The Justice League of America. Yeah, exactly. But, spell, but spelled wrong. <laughs> yeah. The Gustus. Gustus League. The Gustus, Gustus Gloop Gustus League, League of America. I don't think Augustus Gloop is doing anything. <laughs> Uh, let us know in the comments down below what you thought about this week's episode. Did we make the right choice with several different things? Oh my god. And uh, let us know how excited you are for the next time we stream this.